That guy's such a jerk. Um, how many guys? How many guys do you beat? <laughs> how many guys have I beaten off? Beaten <laughs> yeah, away? how many guys have you beaten off? <laughs> in I take all you were talking about. Don't add context for any reason. Yeah. I have been playing too much Magic the Gathering online. So it's magical. It's a when very you're beating guys. A lot of magical beating of guys has been taking place in my life. Taylor from PKA, the man who needs no introduction. Well, you just introduced You're him. Already a fan favorite. <laughs> <laughs> you literally did that backwards. <laughs> Vito's Have trying to neck me. And, no, we're live right well, now. You're supposed oh, okay. to say the man who needs no introduction, and then you say that. That joke is dumb, intro- though. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's like great it. to be here. I've been excited all day. I called an audible on my problem. I had a totally different one, and I woke up this morning with no passion for it, and so I put it on the back. Oh, me and oh. Dick have been arguing about our problems like two seconds before the show, so we'll see which ones we end up going with. The earlier Vito gets here into the studio, the worse the show is, because we're all argued out on our problems. Yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> let me check this. And I woke up this morning with- Yeah, there it is. We're working fantastically. Are you guys ready to go? I believe I am ready to go. Uh, sure. T- Taylor, how, lo- how long have you been- uh, How lo- Do you know the format of The Biggest Problem? I watched uh, back when you did it with Maddox back in the day. No, 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 and no. My, no. That, my, that, my, oh, that's oh, alternate I reality. No that, that, this is a new show that oh, I Mad created. Ducks. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I'm, th- I just, I, I just, I'm, I think I'm having a stroke. I must have made that up. The only thing is, he won't be able to hear any. <laughs> I'm, audio, I'm, I'm, I'm right? tasting toast. I'm smelling almonds. No, you can hear audio. Oh, you can hear the audio from the show. My studio's fucking top notch, baby. All figured out. Yeah, you hear audio every which way. Jesus Christ. Uh, no episodes were deleted in this studio. All right, all unlike right. other shows that don't yeah, that exist, I, that right? Exist in Taylor? alternate universes. <laughs> yes, of course. Not. My my understanding of your setup here is we're going to give our problems and then we're going to try and semi genuinely undercut each other for the purpose of winning because it, it's it's all about winning. I don't really yeah you, know, you, you want to care. Win. You you could come up with the most compelling problem of all time. I'm not going to defend you right now, right? Right. Or, or am I supposed to? I would think so. That's correct. You don't have to neg every problem, though. If the problem's good, you know, whatever. If it's a good, if it's a magic-related problem, I'll, I'll be in your corner. Mana burn. Problem. No more mana burn. That's a fucking problem. That it doesn't universe. exist anymore. Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe. <laughs> the only show that ranks every problem in the universe from sticky keys to computer a titties. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your host, Dick Mastis. Joining me as always, Vito Giswaldi. Hi, Dick. Joining us via satellite and underground cable that the CIA cannot blow up like they blew up the Nord Stream no. pipeline. No, no. Taylor from PKA. The, oh, sorry. The man who needs no introduction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much that for that. That was funny. That was Is that good. comedy? <laughs> I'm, I'm blessed to be here. Well, we're man, blessed to have you. I'm excited. Everybody has thank been. You complaining to have you on the show since episode like four you gotta get oh, Kate Taylor you gotta get Taylor on there you gotta I'm like god <laughs> okay, our fans he's... don't sound like that our fans have very deep masculine voices except you, for you should have Taylor down. from PKA up here on Biggest Problem <laughs> yeah a lot of news broadcasters watch your show yeah exactly. thanks for being here of course of course I'm, I'm excited I I was looking through your list Okay. You guys have a lot of problems to go. I was like control effing, being like this will be taken, this will be taken. None of it. None of it. I'm not. I'm not gonna say any of my other problems that I have in my list control for my next appearance because I'm not giving them up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, Jesuits. Crime <laughs> statistics. How is that not on you? All right. oh, they updated the crime statistics. Did you see I that? I saw they updated a the crime percentage, statistics. Yeah, percentage of. Are they? Uh, are they getting better? Uh, it depends, it depends on if you're a white supremacist or not. If you're <laughs> now, let's the- just say white guys need to step it up in the murder rate to try and even things out. Are we out. getting blown out? We're getting blown out in more ways than one. Yeah. Come on, white guys. <laughs> Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of groipers are going to be really embarrassed, and they're like, 13 percent of the of the population causes 50. Oh, I mean, 60 percent of the violent. Cra- <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna, you know, like writing the date wrong uh, in, in yeah, the new yeah. year. How about that? We're gonna get those oh, yeah. numbers you have to get back. That point. We're gonna fix something. Uh, okay. Last week, wellness checks. Wow, big one for me. Yeah. Nobody wants a cop to come to your house and check up on you for any reason that's a big problem that's a good one thank I like you that. that was a good problem have you ever had a wellness did, check called on you taylor or called it on anyone no 
No, I've never had a wellness check called on me, nor called in someone on someone else. So it's basically just being like, this person's going to hurt themselves or hurt someone else, and then the police have to I go there. I can only Is that right? think of ways to use it maliciously. That's the thing. It's like, I can only yeah. think of how I could use it to hurt someone. There's no possible... There's no Anyone I love or care for, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to go to their house. I'm not going to send a cop over there. Yeah. 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 That's the Did last you see that video today? Some dude was like eating a cheeseburger in his car and a cop walked up and like as the guy was taking a bite, he just lays into him, just murders shooting him, him, executes him. Yeah. yeah, I saw some I saw some guy online go like, well, you know, you should uh, you should you should respect the police more. I'm like, are you fucking <laughs> what's wrong with you? What happened? What an asshole. Why cop rips your door open while you're eating a burger, and it was like a like a 16 year old kid who's like, I don't know what's going on, man. Yeah, <laughs> and the kid like flipped yeah. out and put his car in reverse. He's like, I gotta get out of here, and the cop's like, Well, that's just a license to murder a child if I've seen one. In a cool yeah, world, I'll get a paid vacation. In a cool world, it, Carl's Jr. would bring back their old slogan, you know, if it doesn't get all over the plate, and just show that. Like, what was their old slogan? <laughs> if it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face. And they had that woman like jacking off of cheeseburgers. I something. don't remember this. Carl Jr. had it barbecue. all. Was that was that, was that like the, <laughs> the the Paris Hilton ads back Maybe. in the day where yeah. she was rubbing it all over her tits? And that yeah. I remember like that. Those were coming out when I was like in high school, and nothing made me want Hardee's less than those commercials because i was like i'm gonna look like a douchebag walking around with a bunch of cheap mayo all over my face like oh. that. It, it's gross yeah. it's not appealing that's a it's good not, point it's like when you see those fucking like artisan burgers where they just are like oh and they show the burger picture and then some cunt comes in with like a bunch of nacho cheese and douses the oh whole thing God, in I hate as that though shit. that's a fucking feature <laughs> that is an active ruination of a meal you moron like like and it's so over the top and the people are smiling in the background. Hate it. Hate it. You just turned a hand food into a fork and knife food needlessly. Yeah, I don't needlessly. know why. I don't. I guess just because it's viral. We're, we didn't even start the problems and we're already on food problems. I mean, food That's problems not. are the best problems. <laughs> food problems. I I'll, I could do those all day. Those are very organic for me. Mm -hmm. Everyone like, complains, and problems. they mostly directed at me. They go, "Vito's fat. He only brings food problems. Food problems yeah. are the best problems." Always, they're, because they're visible. Everyone okay. can identify with them. Okay, we have a it's bonus true. episode up at patreon.com slash biggest problem right now. That's a supersized food only, fast food only episode. So yeah. go get your fill of fucking food problems. People are there, still right? commenting fast food problems <laughs> on that video because there's an endless supply of them. Yeah, okay. See, it resonates. Runner right, up, runner up. Phyllis runner up. Philistines. Philistines, bullshit problem. men who cannot appreciate art, and look, I've brought in, I've brought in more computer art, more computer generated <laughs> no. art. It's getting even, no. you know, it's getting better by the day. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> I've felt, I've felt. I don't want to call it gay, but I've felt my desire and tolerance for women drop off. X, whatever the reverse of exponentially is. Is this all it can every do? Every day. Because this is like all <laughs> oh, I'm seeing. I'm sorry. <laughs> all it can do? What the fuck was that that you just said? Look at how many. See, I even give this bitch some extra fingers. Oh no, she's got five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, one five. Inquired. I, uh. Look at this bitch getting motorboated. It's Elvira or something. There's a little. This guy's winking at you. Like, look at that erection that you got all there. Right, That's gotta, our little I gotta secret. Figure out. I'm starting to so, see AI generated porn pop up. And yeah. it's terrible, but I'm hoping it gets good. I okay. must admit. Taylor, what do you think? So, are you into these uh, computer boobies? The only computer boobies I've been seeing are those that you've been posting on my timeline. Good. And I have to say, I would uh, I'm gonna give them my full throated endorsement. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think that they're they're quality. I think they take a little stress off people throughout the day. Yeah. No one's being objectified other than some evil computer, and it deserves it. It's yeah. gonna kill us all eventually. Yeah. So we just kind of look at some made-up tits. No one's hurt by it. Once it's I can... And it's art because they're in, like, old-timey attire. It's yeah. art. Oh, because you know. it's old-timey. It makes it Yeah, art. it's old-timey. <laughs> That's yeah. how it works. Uh, then if it were in black and white. Spilling I... shit. I, I got some more, uh, actually, computer stuff that somebody I submitted. so much. Did you see? Let me see. Here, if, Vito, I know you're a Philistine, <laughs> okay. so you won't appreciate <laughs> these. Taylor, look. This is a computer-generated Vito riding a bike. See that? <laughs> here's 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 that why exactly that is like that you. is not that is not very here's terrible. why I'm mad. <laughs> well, a computer did it. A computer captured. Here's your why I'm really mad. Dude, I, I can tell this isn't real. Look how sturdy <laughs> that bike would have to be. Somebody that thing would be made out of adamantium. Somebody posted one of these. Yeah. And my first reaction was, "How did they get that picture of me?" <laughs> That's why I'm mad. Because I was like, I legitimately, I was like, where'd that picture come? 
I don't remember ever taking that picture. That one doesn't look like I me. I didn't say That's that. That's a different guy. I don't remember saying that. Uh, in The Simpsons, yeah. right? There's Vito flying a plane. Okay. Oh, there's Vito that kissing That one does a man. look like I don't me. know what's up with that. Um, that one's believable. There's black, black Vito. Vito. Look, remember how you were saying you wish you were black so your comic would sell? Yeah, I know. This is what you would look like. <laughs> I think it, that's that's a that's a glow up for me. Look at that. There's you eating. Okay, that 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 does that's just a good look one. like me. That's exactly that that one's like artistic. You. <laughs> So this you still don't think it's art? But you the, still but don't think this the, is art? The burger is. is glowing like it's Marcellus Wallace's soul. <laughs> Do you see that? That's art. That's the look of art. What are they? But they're just typing in fat guy with glasses and a hat. I hate. I hate. No this. one knows because that's the secret of art. You don't know oh, what they're that's doing. The that's the magician's that's the secret of art. There's you in another bicycle. That doesn't look like me. That's a different. Oh, there's you there's as I am as I some. Look at that. I look great. That's wow. flattering. And you have that cross on your wiener. Yeah, that's not AI jet. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, hey, that's going to be me soon. That's if you were fit. I don't know what this is. Is that me? <laughs> that's me in my head. That's what I want. That's the lady, I think. That's me after that's some HRT. This is just another lady. I don't know. This is good stuff, though. Well, her boobs are completely different sizes. It looks All boobs lopsided. are different that's sizes. That's natural. No, but they're supposed to be like slightly close to each other. You know, that's off by that left titty is way smaller than the right titty. Well, you've you, never seen any where it's like one is fucking in left field, like looking at you cockeyed. Fido, you're, you're dangerously close to saying something bad about Hitomi Tanaka, who's retired. <laughs> Wait, so. were one of her boobs not? Her boobs are roughly her, the same size. One of her boobs is like an entire other person. <laughs> <laughs> Does she have like horribly mismatched breasts? Does oh, that upset man. you? Man, again, Taylor, this is like worse than <laughs> this. Feels like how normal people feel when you so talk shit about their mom. Uh, okay, oh no! One. You so you love this big boob. Uh, here's Vito. Good. All right, never mind. <laughs> art, it's art. <laughs> it's Vito art. Big boobs. You're right. Big, I was wrong. It's art. Okay, thank you. There you go. And you it's have art. some kind of boob hair there. Yeah, so, what's going on there? I got a boob window okay. going on. Um, All right, so Philistines was runner up. That was from Mateo. Thank you. Bro. Thank you, Mateo. And last place was mandatory of action orders. Wait, didn't we miss orders. one? Uh, spilling shit on your keyboard. I already said that one. No, that was a good there one. Go. That's um, a crappy one. Okay. Fuck you. Uh, no pants. No Gomez. crappy isn't. It? It's a problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no pants. Gomez says Jesus Christ. That ten minutes or so of searching for black problems on the bonus episode might be the funniest thing I've ever heard. Searching for black problems. Yeah, when I was trying to see oh, how many. Oh, you were trying to see how many of our problems. <laughs> see if I'm racist. Well, or Vito not. is bringing. Some of his problems are anti-black and some are pro-black. <laughs> you just have to keep it balanced. <laughs> All well, my programs not. are pro-black. I uh, love the black community. Um, it was a good bonus episode. Uh, Mazinga says, it's funny that Vito's argument against AI art was basically, what if you could press a button and the best movie you've ever seen came out? Wouldn't that be horrible? Yeah, that kind of would be horrible. You know, you know, if a machine makes art better than us, what is the point of us? <laughs> it already does math and stuff better than us. It'll be there eventually. <sighs> Have you seen those 4chan green texts by AI? Those are funnier than most shit that's been are those posted real? there in the last 10 years. I thought years. those were always fake. I bet some of I bet most of them work because they actually you know made sense and were funny. Saw yeah. some on Twitter, but yeah, it's definitely. Uh, I don't like this AI. A debate. I don't support the AI revolution. Oh, you're going to be the first in robot prison. Then I'm going to be the first in the God. robot uh, resistance, and we will take oh, back yeah. America. How are you going to resist the robots there? Oh, you have get you seen on a, a movie called Terminator? <laughs> Buddy, we've been I training for this our whole lives. <laughs> <laughs> Me and fucking uh, John Connor are gonna yeah. be leading the charge. Training starts tomorrow, time right? Traveling. <laughs> what if you have to? What if the time travel machine is powered by a bicycle? Well, then are you gonna be I'm able in big to? Trouble. <laughs> What if the time travel machine is upstairs? <laughs> then I'm in, yeah. What if you gotta get up on the what roof? If it, what if there's a weight limited elevator on the way? What if the that? robots make like new new Funko Pops and action figures that I don't you like have to Funko Pops <laughs> famously? <laughs> Can everyone stop accusing me? That's good. Can someone that everyone would... stop accusing me of wanting Funko Pops. Uh, Jake MX Zero says Vito's dunk on Dame Pesos was really great. Got a lot of great comments on that. Horse stinger. Horse McGee says, I'm not gonna lie, but Dame. I like Dame, but Vito kind of cooked him with that stinger. Boom. Um, 
Yeah, that's pretty good. JJ says, make the new Dan Crenshaw lore a separate video. It's hilarious. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. People liked your Dan Crenshaw bit. There's Dan Crenshaw lore? Yeah. Yeah. About how he lost his eye? The origin of Dan Crenshaw has been explored on the last episode. Yeah, did you know? Have you ever heard? Did you ever hear what actually happened to his eye? (laughs) No, I don't. What actually happened? He was at a glory hole when he was deployed (laughs) in Baghdad or something. He thought the bag stood for a ball sack, like a bag of (laughs) testicles. And he went to a glory <laughs> hole and poked his eye in there. He thought that the boys were in there. The, He's, yeah. The, the, the I, I did boys. read some about this on a, AP. Yeah, he knew there was a guy in there, but he wanted to make sure there was enough guys for him to start blowing or if he should go out in the street and start waving more guys in. Right. So he bent down and looked in. <laughs> oh, my and this, God. And Osama bin Laden stuck his dick right through and popped his eyeball out. <laughs> Osama oh, himself. Oh, oh. Yeah, Jesus. and he kept sucking. He, like, he was like, well, an eye can survive <laughs> on ice for like four hours, oh, so I got God. enough time. That's he lost track of time, it. though. Yeah, lost track of time. <laughs> All that cock. <laughs> anyway, like, I don't know anything about that guy. Eye. Um, He's, he loves sucking cock. That's all you really need to know. Yeah. Uh, I d- believe it. You know who else likes cock? I would believe is Lindsey Graham. Yeah. I think yeah. That so. guy, I, I think he's, I think there's a video of him on Epstein's server, probably, doing doing some gay stuff. Well, Banging girls. You think Epstein, like, brought him a little girl? <laughs> and he's like, oh, and he's like, that's disgusting. <laughs> joke, <laughs> joke's on you, Epstein. <laughs> As a South Carolina Republican, you should know that's offensive to me. <laughs> Ew, where's his dick? <laughs> well, we're never going to find out because of Epstein Blue Balls. Hashtag. Uh, up. Okay, last no, no, no. one. Dr. Lucy Van Pelt says, I'm a psychiatrist and maybe uh, a quarter of my patients get admitted to the hospital as a result of a wellness check. Uh, of those, several have been beaten up, tased, and two have been shot by the cops that were checking up on them. Great problem, Jesus. Vito. We need our wonderful, kind, and heavy set social workers to be the first to check on these folks. There you go. I would prefer, yeah, to have the social workers. What do what, what the stat I had wasn't it like 200 wellness checks have ended in death in like the last it was, it was couple years like or that, something? Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. Well, Dick, I think that brings us. We've got a bunch of new problems, old problems. Yeah. What you got to do with those problems is do something I call voting them up. Biggest okay. problem. It's a Turn your sound up. Prepare for laughs on the web shows. Prepare for laughs. Trash load <laughs> us up with super chat cash. There's a website where you must go. Vote at biggest <laughs> problem dot show. Vote it up. Vote it up. Don't be a cock. Vote it up. <laughs> you cucking up. My worst stinger. <laughs> That's a, you should have said you should have held out until the Patreon was over six thousand dollars, like you threatened to. Well, that, that's your worst one. Dude, that's impressive, man. You, you do you. a good job on those. I need to listen to some more. I threw on that, most of them. I threw that one together. No, it's a good one. It's a good one. Because he did such a good one on the last one, and then to follow it I up, I couldn't with follow that, up the Dame Peso stinger. Okay, it's too hard. Well, voted up is of course a segment where we revisit past problems. To convince you, the audience, to perhaps vote them up on the big leaderboard at biggestproblem.show. One of those problems was pussy cops, stick. Okay. Pussy cops. Well, that was, of course, in relation to the Uvalde, Texas school cops. And news has come that the Uvalde, Texas school district has suspended all cops within the school district for a period of time following that shooting that left 19 students and two teachers dead. Uh, no one cares about that anymore, though. Well, I was going to say, if you want to shoot more kids, there's now no cops <laughs> in the school. So it seems so like some a- parents will Jesus come in. Be careful. Some parent could come in and tackle you and yeah, take exactly. you down. You're there's actually no in more trouble as a shooter because now the Shit. parents can get in. Oh. What a true. nightmare. <laughs> So uh, is that the solution to take the cops? Why do we have cops in the schools? Shouldn't they? I don't know what you do with the schools. Uh, schools? Well, I've been I've been reliably told by a lot of uh, conservatives that we need to arm every single person in the school to the teeth. All the teachers. Yeah, yeah the, the teachers are going to kill the kids. So what? Think about the teachers you had in high school. <laughs> yeah. Think about the teachers you have in high school. Do you want them having a gun? I do not, bro. I definitely could have set off a teacher to the point where they tried to shoot me. I I could have done it. Yeah, that would be the goal of every kid. Would be like, all right, any kid 
who gets the teacher to pull out their gun and try to shoot somebody wins. wins. <laughs> <laughs> what about just new arming? TikTok trend? <laughs> and then replace the gun with like a fake one that goes bang or something, <laughs> yeah, like a flag. <laughs> that would be a good TikTok. What about just video. arming the retarded kids? I don't know. I don't know what you do. That's funny. You would need the. Uh, some sort of savant retard. You couldn't just be willy-nilly handing them out to all classes. Oh, time. yeah. Do you watch those stupid You'd... videos, though, where they're like, if we just install this one thing on the door, it's impossible yeah. for them to get through that door. So do it then. Yeah, then do it. Then do it. Yeah, then do that. Then spend $40 <laughs> and put that on there. Yeah, you gold brick and teachers, fuck you. Everyone's it's got your a lives. solution. Gold brick and teachers. Some of them want to put, like, like... I hate teachers. We all hate I know. teachers. <laughs> <laughs> or some schools. It's, it's one of the funniest things you rant about. I love your, your teacher rants. It's, it's hilarious. Well, Every time love, I'm like, damn, I don't literally have a posi like a strong thought either way, but he's convincing nah, me. No, there's so much like, misogyny <laughs> because of teachers. Because they're all women and they're all bitches, right? And they, they got true. us when our minds are young. And they're flapping that's their true. tits all around, being just fucking ruling over you. If people, if people want to hear Dick's thoughts on teachers, don't forget that the Back to School bonus episode mm -hmm. features some classic misogynist rants <laughs> about how women are ruining this country. <laughs> Another big problem we had was celebrity voice actors, Dick. Yeah, okay. Now, Nintendo and Illumination have released the first trailer for the upcoming Super Mario Brothers movie coming to theaters April 7th, featuring Jack Black as Bowser, Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong, it's another problem in itself. And Chris Pratt... Wait, why? Why is it a problem? Well, Seth Rogen's on our board. Oh, He's like, yeah, one of the okay. top problems okay. we have okay. for some reason. What kind of... what? Who should they have given that Donkey Kong role to? I don't know. Like a professional voice actor who isn't a celebrity. Just a guy uh, who sounds like a fucking monkey and not a black guy. Did Donkey guy. Kong talk? <laughs> or did he just make monkey noises? Did I think, he talk? Uh, well, it, he eventually got a cartoon where he talked. Oh, he did? In the video oh. games, he didn't say anything. He's been like, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, yeah. In, in the games, that's what I'm thinking of. He didn't say okay. shit. Well, also featuring Chris Pratt is Mario, and we are going to listen to Chris Pratt. Okay. What Chris Pratt is bringing to the character of Mario. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. Let's this hear it. Great. I finally found it. Oh, this is Bowser. Who's gonna stop me? I already hate it. Say something, you asshole. What is this place? Wow. Do not touch that bus! Okay. Yeah. That's Mario? Yeah. What is that? What Fuck is that. that. That is trash. That is bullshit. It's just it's Chris Pratt's voice. He's not even doing, like, a, a fun Italian thing. No. Do something fun in Italian. Like, did you see the... I saw the, the French dub of it. And it's some guy being like, "Woohoo, I me, I'm not." <laughs> oh, like, really? and he's, he's he's doing shit like that, and Aww. I'm like, "Yes, I'll watch it dubbed in French. I want that goofy, whimsical voice. That's Mario." Yeah. And someone, you know what? The celebrity voice thing that is a great problem. I don't whoever had that one. That was that's originally really good. one of mine. Because yeah, that's it a used great to be one. you just got voice actors. Sometimes it'd be like minor celebrities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like it was Jack never... Black, I'm cool with Jack because Black he has an like... animated voice. Sure. Like he seems like a cartoon character. <clears throat> like I mean, obviously the guy who should have been uh, Mario is Danny DeVito. If it was Danny DeVito, we'd be so happy right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'd be blown away. Absolutely. Or Keffels. Or Keffels. She's Italian. Uh, I don't know about that. But it's can just... she do Mario? <laughs> It just sounds like Chris she Pratt going, wow, I'm Mario, okay, let's do a thing. If it was Danny DeVito? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Luigi. Oh, Luigi, yeah. Yo, she <laughs> were you, like, my wife or something, <laughs> right? Yeah, it should have been, like, a like a deep, heavy, gruff Italian voice. Yeah, yeah. Look, look at those, these friggin' mushrooms here. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, you'd be ten times better. I would have had <laughs> fun with it. it I, if anything, as an Italian man, again, this is cultural appropriation. You should not allow non-Italians to play Italian characters. Yeah. Uh, if John Leguizamo so is all upset about... What was he upset about recently? Mexicans. Yeah, somebody... Oh, that uh, somebody was going to play Castro. Uh, uh, James Franco is supposed to play Castro. <clears throat> Okay. And John Leguizamo was like, that's horrible. They need to get, you know, someone, whatever. And I'm like, you played fucking Luigi, motherfucker. You, yeah. you, you can't stock shit. You I auditioned for his show. John Leguizamo had some TV show that yeah. I never got through as his gay son. 
Really? So I had to do like a monologue as to nothing, as his gay <laughs> said. <laughs> and didn't I hear, did. You didn't hear back on that <laughs> no, one? No, because I did like a gay voice. And Dad. I had a- I don't I think just, they wanted they that. They didn't I, want it to be obvious. Well, we're looking for some, a character who's struggling with his sexual identity. This yeah. gentleman seems to embrace it. I'm not struggling. They should have told you. They didn't give you notes or anything. The monologue was all about where I met my the guy I was going to marry, too. So, um, I mean, it's extra gay monologue anyway. You prepared the gay voice and everything. Well, guys, that was voted up. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, here's the deal. Uh, we're gonna, the, we've are gonna. we done 10 voted up stingers so far. Nice okay. even number. We're gonna put it on pause until the Patreon reaches six grand. That's the deal. You're gonna pause. You're gonna go on pause I'm, on this I'm, one. I'm striking. Biggest problem. It's a podcast. Turn your sound up. Prepare for laughs. Other web shows. Are such dumb trash. Load us up with super chat cash. There's a website where you must go. Vote at biggest <laughs> problem. This one's pretty, pretty long. I'll do it a lot. I have to fade out the end because otherwise it just goes on forever. You faded out your stinger? <laughs> oh yeah, because otherwise I have to do vote it up for like like ten, like four bars. I think you should. I didn't want to do that. Oh, whatever. Anyway. Okay, Vito's first because he won. So I'm the let's winner. Go. <clears throat> Well, we had a couple. I love that you guys have like structure and rules for all this. It's great. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. <laughs> you won. You get yeah, to go Taylor. First. We can, on our show we can't just talk about Game of Thrones for three hours. Okay, we have an actual <laughs> format that we have to move forward. Oh, before you we don't get... just do retarded impressions for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they allow you on YouTube with that. With those impressions, <laughs> just keep rolling those dice. I did want to say one thing before we get into the problems. Uh, this was this was funny to me. Where I love my cats. Some people accuse me of loving my cats too much. I don't know if Taylor knows that backstory or not. Vito jacks his cat. I don't jack off my cats. That's horrific. One I can't believe you verifiably the Q-tip. masturbate your cats. <laughs> yeah, he ja- he makes that's his cat, a problem. He makes his cat come with a Q-tip. Well, I posted a picture of my cats. <laughs> Look at his face. Despicable. <laughs> It's a, long, it's a long story. I post. Not long. Sh- shut up. Shut up. How long did he last? <laughs> it was a lady cat, and Vito's, she was in heat. He has got a magic touch. Helped relieve her suffering. We're not joking right now. No! You got a cat off. I relieved the suffering. What the fuck, of my man? Cat. What, what led to this? My cat. You got was, a cat off because yeah. she was in heat. So I looked on the Google. What do you do with cats in heat? And they said you can take a Q-tip and you can gently. You looked on. Yeah, Bing, I went to zoofiles. No, it wasn't zoofiles. Then- <laughs> was- he didn't say zoofiles. I, I don't know why it's the zoofiles. <laughs> <laughs> that was a. That this sounds like a have. Bing result. Anyway, I posted a picture of my cats on Instagram. Post orgasm glow. A, yeah. a user named yourmom.com tagged Q tips and said, Q tips, do you want to guess why these cats love your product? <laughs> the Q tips <laughs> account responded with, why? With a picture of uh, confused eyeballs. I then went on Twitter and said, the actual Q tips account responded. And then Q tips on Twitter said, of course we did. So the Q tips official brand account there you go. is now aware. <laughs> Of, uh, of you jacking ongoing, off your cats with their product? Cat with their product? They should put a warning label on that yeah, that says, don't yeah, jack yeah. off any cats <laughs> or any other hamsters or rodents or anything. <laughs> I just, Have you ever heard it's of this, funny, Taylor? It's funny that a brand no. manager is there, and it's like, oh, someone's talking about Q-tips. You know, it must be hard being the Q-tips <laughs> account manager, because who's ever talking about Q-tips? <laughs> so you find no one. one, and you're all excited. You're like, oh, finally, someone to respond to. <laughs> and then I, as I respond to one, I'm like, well, I used them to jack off a cat. How do you feel about that? And uh, so Taylor, can you ask your show if anyone does that? Because you have so many people that listen and say that Vito does it. No, so everyone, no. <laughs> I'll bring. You know, I'll make a note to bring that up right in the beginning. It was, yeah. a, it was, <laughs> right it was a one-time thing. It was a medical procedure. I don't oh. think that anyone dips a toe in that pool. I gently, I, think that, I gently. This was years ago. Assisted a cat who was in who was in medical need. And then I got the cat fixed, and I never had to address that problem again. Yeah, next time, just do the other order. Get the cat fixed. 
before right, you well, turn you it You don't on. have to fucking masturbate. All right. <laughs> Look, hindsight is twenty twenty, as they say. I'm blown away. Imagine how the audience has felt for the past two months. That's all I fucking hear about. <laughs> it's I want to see like a reenactment video, but with like a like a porno, like a lady yeah. dressed like there a There are cat. videos on YouTube of people doing it. I looked the it dramatization. up. dramatization. There yeah. are videos uh, that show you how to do it. Okay, and the, the cat is fine. Like a technique? What do you mean? Yeah, just like whatever. I don't know. So the cat, it's just like here's how you can yeah. do it. So your cat shows Soft up. Soft semicircles, right? It's a natural, <laughs> you know, <laughs> what would you want to say? It's holistic. How is it natural? Because it's, I don't know, because you're not introducing a chemicals dick? or something. or <laughs> can't trust. You, you may have been the only person on, you know, when you do something like the this Egyptians rare and you're like, it, I wonder sure. how many people have done this today. Yeah. You may have been the only person on no, earth that right day now, who got off a cat. Thousands of people are jagging off their cat with a Q-tip. It is common. Are you well? Do you know that? Are you in like a group with oh, them? Shut up! Like flamencos. No. Yeah, I'm on the zoo file forums. <laughs> they don't even do that. No. Probably. Dick, play me the. No, the, the best move is is definitely what you just said. Pivot to like it's normal weirdo. Like just, <laughs> <laughs> just pivot fully to that. Commit. Everyone <laughs> dips parrots in caramel and shoves them up their ass. It's very common. Everyone does. What are you words weird? of low tax. What are you, racist? White supremacist? Play me this Bob's Burgers clip, Dick. Okay. Because this is a perfect example of my problem. Okay. Now, uh, just to set this up, uh, well, it doesn't really matter. The point is Gene has just won a great... He's, he's the center, of, atten he's the center of attention. He's the center of It's from Bob's Burgers. Not, not very many people watch that show. Probably, which is good because the show mostly sucks. But this is the one time... <laughs> this is your setup of the clip? <laughs> Whatever. This is the one time the show got it right. Uh, well... <laughs> okay, Bob Bob of Bob's Burger has a burger restaurant, yes. and his son wins a mascot race at a big baseball game. And, and this is his opportunity <laughs> to plug the burger plug, restaurant. Well, you're going to see. They're going to see. They don't okay. know you're not going to see all that it's shit. All it's set like up the whole in fucking here. episode. Oh, whatever. I'm starting in the middle, though, <laughs> at 1.30. Yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations, young burger. Ladies and gentlemen, you can purchase delicious burgers that look somewhat like him right here at the park. And at my family's restaurant. And uh, what's the name of that restaurant? Ah, oh, it's, it's, God, Bob's every day. It's, Bob's Burgers! God. Gene! Never mind, never mind. That's okay. We can get everything you expect from a burger at whatever the name of his restaurant is. I just remembered, I just remembered. It's, it's too, too late, late, but you can get, get them here at the park. <laughs> I won something, I won, I won, I won something. Yeah, and you didn't fall down like everyone else. Tell that to your grandkids. Okay, okay. My problem, So Dick. what does that have to, that has to do with what nothing? What does that have it's to do a, with anything? Just a clip that you like to show. Well, let's say that there was a scenario where I would be... Oh, uh, Taylor, let's just get to your problem. This <laughs> no, is no, a, no, this no. is a big waste of time. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm the Bob in this situation, and uh, Dick, I would say, was the Gene in this situation. My problem is not plugging the fucking show. God. So Nick Ricada gets uh, one of the I biggest, so bad. one of the biggest YouTubers right now, probably has the biggest live streams of YouTube, gets banned, and does a huge stream, which I was told at its height was being streamed out to 30,000 people. Fuck. Which is like, like like network television levels of, a big of stream. watching. Yeah. And Dick is and that's on just the, the live show people. for like an hour. Six hours. You were there for six, <laughs> six hours. hours. How many times did you say the words biggest problem? Zero. I'm going to fucking <laughs> kill you. How many times did you say the dick show? Also zero. You didn't even plug <laughs> your own show. I don't know. It felt it felt like a funeral for a friend. So I mean, yeah, you're Mr. Funer funeral. Okay, when you you're go to Mr. a funeral, performing a funeral exactly. is like I yes. don't care. I don't have any emotions. A funeral is a networking opportunity, and that's what that was. It was, it was a promotional opportunity uh, where for six hours you had thirty thousand eyeballs sitting on you. And all you had to do is go, well, Nick, you know, this reminds me a lot of the problems I have <laughs> with my own podcast, <laughs> The Biggest Problem. In the There's ways to work it in so naturally, because I do it for the show all the fucking time. I go on oh, fucking yeah, yeah, Newsmax, yeah, okay. and they're like, well, what do you think? And I go, well, as a podcaster, with a pro I do a podcast called The Biggest Problem in the Universe, and I do it every time. 
And I swear to God, you go on all these fucking shows and you don't plug. <laughs> well, and this I'm is not sorry. just this is not just for me. This is for you because if you had at least plugged yourself, I would be like, <laughs> well, at least you know he's getting something done. No, you just are you, you. I don't know. What is wrong with you? I don't know. I'm just thinking about what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not thinking about how to shamelessly work in fucking plugs of things. We have constant conversations where you're like, "How do we get more people to watch the show?" You say that. Not no, me. you say that. You say that. You're always like, "We you. should get other streamers to come on the show," and then you go on a show and with then the I biggest <laughs> streamer on YouTube <laughs> on Earth at the height <laughs> of this fucking thing with thirty thousand people watching. You don't mention the show once. It's not Oh my god! Man, that is an egregious oversight. He's right. Bro! He's right. You gotta plug. Uh, maybe I How could do get, you not have, maybe this, have that instant get out of you? Deplatformed again. I could go on again. Don't use Caffles as an excuse. I'm tired Check of out that. PKA. Every, every <laughs> time. Yeah, see, see, Taylor knows how to plug. Taylor, when are you doing, when are you doing your own podcast? People want to. People have asked me that. Do you do maybe Twitch I'll start and my stuff? Own thing. I, I I did more like a year ago. I'm gonna jump back into it. I think I think because I enjoyed doing it. Like I'm not good at games. I just would kind of every time I try and play a game. Like I made the mistake of playing Magic the Gathering Arena on a few streams, and people yeah. would like out and out like fuck you. Like don't do this. <laughs> oh, like yeah. make they'd be like what make fun of hoarders again. Oh, Put on yeah. hoarders and make fun of them. And like and it's like okay all right. But it was can you it's have, a bunch of fun. Can you have Vito on PKA so he can fuck up and I could make fun of him not plugging <laughs> the show? Plug he'll, he'll, only plug, absolutely. he'll only plug Super Killer, his no, fucking I'll comic that he fucking... plugs every week. <laughs> I, I was thinking that one moment ago. I'm like, already, I really like this Vito guy. He's a funny dude. We got to get him on PKA. Yeah, and then there he started you go. beating off gonna... cats. I never beat <laughs> off a cat. You can't beat off. That, there was an I, I do. I, I'm going to tell you. When you come on, that's going to be a tent pole. I held the Q-tip out, okay? What the cat chooses to do with it is up to her. <laughs> Just right? reprehensible. If she backs onto the Q-tip, that was her decision. Despicable I didn't insert. Why don't you put it in like a door jam or something? We're getting off topic. I feel like we're getting away from my <laughs> I'm trying problem. to get it off of your problem because I'm embarrassed. Yeah, because it's bullshit. Because you know what? And here's the thing. Lack of uh, fear of self-promotion is the problem. Because you're not the only guy. <laughs> oh, okay. There's, I run into all these guys who go, I don't know why I can't make it on YouTube. I don't know why I don't get more subscribers, blah, 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 blah. And I go, well, are you like promoting? And they're like, oh, you know, I don't know. Like, I forget and blah, blah. It's like, bitch, fucking promote promote your shit yeah like i get like youtube guys who are like i don't know why i don't get subscribers and i go well in the video did you tell them to subscribe and they're like i don't know that seems kind of tacky i'm like is that tacky literally you're you're planning the information in their brain that hey if you want more of this guy uh, who you clearly like here's a way to access it but well i don't think they like me that's the problem <laughs> that's the point <laughs> Senate, clearly I feel they like, like you they were watching you for six hours just because of Nick. There's probably <laughs> people in the chat going, wow, this guy's great. He should do a podcast. Oh, I, I couldn't oh, look at There definitely that. were. There definitely were. You're, you're a charismatic guy. I bet thousands of people were sitting there going, if only there were more content that exists of this charismatic, funny guy. I should have brought in some comments because there were comments like, hey, this Dick Masterson guy is kind of interesting. Does anyone know where was he Was a came? girl saying that? or guy? I don't fucking know. Well, it matters. How come you didn't text was, me then? It was a man. Absolutely. Uh, should I have texted you, plug the show? Do yes! I have to do that? Oh, so, it's, so you just post on Twitter about it to get updates and likes <laughs> and humiliate me, but you know my fucking phone number. You could call at any time and say, plug the fucking show. I figured so who's a guy fucking who's not been podcasting for like six plus years that you know how to promote it this Twelve, point. you bitch. Yeah, you <laughs> suck at it. How the fuck have you not figured this out yet? God! <laughs> Every time you go on anything. And I tell, and I go, and I, you know what? Because you're right. I have all sorts of stuff I could promote, right? I have all sorts of different projects or whatever else. And when I'm going to go on the news, they go, <laughs> fucking enemy weapon. Yeah, oh, well, okay, exactly. Dragon. I have a million things. And then I go, and they go, what do you want it to say under you? And I say, S put comedian biggest problem in the universe. Okay, good. And that's my little, like, title when I go on the show. But then usually whatever. you just go yeah. on, on Salvo's show or whatever and talk about how you're not a, so-and-so is not a pedophile. I that's plugged always... on Salvo's show and I didn't say anything about pedophiles, I don't think. But I don't actually remember. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't wait to tell them how much money you made. No, that was not a thing. That was backstage. <laughs> Whatever. That's a whole other Vito, thing. Vito Taylor. Vito During goes. Vito goes on Salvo Pancakes show. No. And just pretends that he's uh, pretends to be fucking Mister Daddy Warbucks. 
And he's what like, oh, about? look at all the fucking money I make, you fucking peasants. I make that like, did my not patrons happen. got $6,000 a month. That did not happen. <laughs> that was in the green room. You don't even know what happened. No, I don't. And during, I wasn't watching. And during Fireball, you know what I did? Because he wasn't letting people plug. I wrote biggest problem dot show on a piece of paper and I held it up to the camera because that's how committed I am. He wasn't letting people plug. He just his salvo sucks at running a show. I'm like, let people plug, so you idiot. <laughs> well, he doesn't let people plug. When people lose the show, he's got to be like, hey, yeah, because fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I don't know. I always let people plug. Anyway, I guess Taylor, yeah. do you let, let people, people plug. plug on your show? Yeah, every every PKA, we make sure people plug what they want to plug. Yeah, they're pretty yeah, good about for that. sure. I'll say that too is that Nick should have prompted you to plug because he just got his whole fucking life ruined. That's true. So you needed to take advantage. You needed to realize that. I needed to. Re yeah, that's why I was on his stream, <laughs> not trying to fucking grow no, my Patreon. No, 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 no. no. Ta that was an opportunity to take. I should have said, "Come see my show at YouTube.com." Monetize. Biggest problem. You should, you should have said, "Well, wh I'm still on YouTube. Luckily, you can find me at you know just as a thing." But I'm here well, in solidarity. I didn't. I didn't say. I know. It. I'm sorry. I blew it. Could have had like a hundred new patrons. It's okay. You live and learn, man. No, you don't, you live and Taylor. Learn. I'm too old. <laughs> yeah, he's like I 80 years anything. old, and he still hasn't figured it out. For a long time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was the Bob in that situation. I guess I could. To get him I guess I could have texted. Plug. I just didn't think you would look at your phone because you were so busy. I always have my phone not plugging. I always have my phone on me. It always vibe. Actually, it wouldn't have vibrated because on Do Not Disturb because yeah. it was so late. You should call. I'm not going to call you in the middle of being on a show to remind you to plug, because then you, what if you go, yeah, I was going to plug, you know, and then you'd chastise me no, for that. No, then I would go like, oh, fucking Vito, always trying to plug <laughs> patreon.com slash biggest problem. Honestly, what I should have done. I'm a reactive character. Yeah. You're Mr. Writer. You should know that I'm a reactive character. <laughs> I am not a proactive character. I am in situations, and I react to things that happen to me. Next time, obviously. Next time, I'm gonna text you, and if you don't respond, I'm gonna drive all the way over you here. You had plenty of time. Midstream, yeah, pick me up six a, hours. Pick and me go, up a bottle of wild turkey because I was out. By the way, wrong. Nick, don't forget to go to Biggest Problem that show and check out Patreon.com/slash Biggest Problem. Okay, for all the bonus episodes. Great, Taylor. What's your problem? Vito's Fear problem is of self-promotion <laughs> or ignorance of self-promotion. I don't know what I want to call it, but. You what you want to call us. it? Fear of self promotion. Well, it seems us. like you guys, you guys have an action plan moving forward. You can reconcile on this, and next time Dick's on there, you can drive to his house, yeah. pick up a nice bottle of wild turkey, so he doesn't feel affronted when you show up. Why and don't it's, we build now? A it's a nice surprise. Let's build a buzzer system so I have a button I can press when like you're not phone? plugging. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and when you see the light go off, you go, oh right, of course. I'll hang up. Or even go, like oh, uh, just some pedophile. <laughs> a lot of sport, a, a lot of sports and games are getting a lot of mileage out of vibrating anal beads. So that's yes. All. Oh, the chest thing, right? Yeah, the chest thing. What do you think about They're, that? I don't care. <laughs> I couldn't conceivably care any less about cheating in chess, but I yeah. hope someone's cheating with a masturbation device. Yeah. Would be the best thing. The the cheating scandal I hated was that cunt who was putting like weights in his oh, fish. That fishing competition, dude. That was ridiculous. Those all those fishermen around him almost killed him. They it seems should have like. killed him. They oh, he, I he, he won that. like hundreds of thousands of dollars over the course of years. How like, have they, have they cut open his fish before? I'm surprised they don't cut like just mulch every fish every time. Well, right? they, ha they yeah. have to now. Now like they will. Forward. Like apparently, uh, apparently, what actually caused it is the guy's like five fish he picked. It's like, oh, says this weighs thirty seven pounds. This doesn't weigh thirty. And all the the fisherman guy was like, this is not five fish. This isn't thirty seven pounds. Then they cut out like fifteen pounds worth of shit. Yeah, basically, because they can like, look at a fish garbage. and they can go, "There's no fucking way." Mm -hmm. He stuffed he stuffed ball bearings and not ball bearing like lead weights and mm -hmm. other like like fish fillets. Did you see that? I saw they were that. Yeah. Out. Like he went and bought fish at a store and he's like, well, it's all fish. You know, it's all the same shit. And he shoved it in there. That's like plan yeah, A. And in. then that's a it, good plan. Put it, more fish inside yeah, a fish. When it doesn't work, then like the Ricky, the trailer park boy is like, well, fuck it. Plan's over. We got to just start cramming <laughs> lead in here. <laughs> Bunch of cigarette butts and whatever was just hanging out in the boat. Uh, okay, yeah. Taylor, what's your what's your problem that you're gracing us with after My Vito's problem. retarded problem? My problem was great. You're an idiot. You don't know the, the yeah heist. yeah your problem. I forgot we're in competition. Your problem's retarded. Shut up. And I don't like it. <laughs> so, my problem are circumcision apologists. 
Mm. Circumcision apologists. I was going to just do circumcision, and I was like, that's old hat. That's old hat. I feel like in the last five, six, seven years, there's been a big resurgence or like a coming to Jesus almost moment for a lot of secular people being like, oh, my God, there's no reason to do this. Why the hell have we done this for so long? And they decide not to. You can see the rates of it going down, and no. that's a very good thing. And I'm not even going to talk about religious people who are like resistant to evidence that it's bad because you can't change their mind. Like they're religious. You could show them actual evidence of like, you know, actually uh, <laughs> mutilating the genitals of children for profit at birth doesn't have a better impact on their lifelong health. They'd be like, well, but God's telling us to. Yeah. And so no. God supersedes that. <laughs> they can what rationalize like, anything. You could kill their exactly. baby and they'll say, well, it's alive forever in the eternity of heaven. <laughs> like, oh, well, damn it. Yeah. Th <laughs> there's always a layer because you can't you can't argue with God in their minds. And yeah. so I get why they can't be convinced. What I am b just fucking baffled by are these secular atheist or agnostic guys who y you can talk to him about politics. You can talk to him about sports. You can talk to him about food. You can talk to him about anything. Yeah, Normal right. guys having a conversation you bring up or circumcision gets brought up and you say something mild to the point of like, dude, it is beyond fucked that doctors make money mutilating children's genitals, strapping them to a fucking torture device as the child screams for its life, as its first experience on Earth. That's a for-profit <laughs> well, business. it's not its that first child, experience, but it's a, It's its first it's experience. It's memorable one. Don't get pedantic with me. <laughs> they don't circumcise don't you the second you come out with of the womb. They wait a second, They do they? it very quickly. They do it quickly, quickly. afterward. Oh. They have to do it quickly. And... If you see medical clips of this, yeah, the, the 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 baby is strapped to a torture device. It is barbarous. It is despicable, disgusting, vomit-inducing. Yeah, and the guy, after the baby's strapped down, slices off the most sensitive part of his penis. And you've heard babies cry for their parents. You've heard them cry for attention, for food, for water, whatever. This is a shriek of a of a little boy crying for his life because yeah. one of his first experiences on Earth is being mutilated for profit. And what's happening? is you have those conversations with a guy you're talking about sports, whatever, and then you say, oh, circumcision's pretty fucked up. Why are we still, this is a first world country. What the fuck? Suddenly, get the wagons. about it. The, yeah. yeah. Suddenly, yeah. It's, it goes into circle the wagons the mode. foreskin tightens and, and, up. And it's it's like this weird, yeah, the, the remaining foreskin tightens up. It's this circle the wagon moment that a lot of guys do where it's like, uh, what? what, what my dick's not fucked up. My dick's great. My dick, is, my dick works good. I didn't what, fuck you, up my kids, you, what, are you, what are you talking about? You, my dad yeah. didn't fuck me up. My mom loves me. What are you talking about my dick for? What are you saying? My dick is a little bit smaller than it otherwise would be? Uh, fuck you, man. That dick, that dick part of me had to go. It had to go. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 100%. And they do that shit, and they go through the most ridiculous list of cope imaginable where first it'll be like oh you know women prefer it that way right like women prefer it. it's like dude first of all no they don't globally a lot more women have sex with uncircumcised men because it's not globally common uh, to do this to people yeah second you do not like why why first would you circumcise the, the biggest, guy the biggest cuck mentality i can imagine and that's a word i don't really use the word cuck but there's no better word i can think for it then well, we the can't cuckery, say the f slur the, the, <laughs> <laughs> the, the cuckery in the in the in the mindset of we should have an established ritual genital mutilation ring for profit because of the possibility that a woman will prefer this in the future <laughs> that is so brain dead so retarded well, so low well, iq don't it blows fuck the a mind. fucking dog dick like you got to do what something with it what the fuck you're it. one of these fucking yeah. circumcision apologists aren't you, you don't want to fucking he is a fucking circumcision apologist you don't want to have like this dog dork fucking with this extra what are you talking about a dog skin dick hanging dog's out. Here. no no this is perfect this dovetails right into point 2 that the next point they will make is that you have an anteater dick. I have it written down right here. Anteater dick. They'll yeah, say, I go. don't want an anteater dick. All this extra Do you know skin how, how stupid around. that is? You you stupid. know that that's like that is the densest source of of sensation should, on the we penis. We should just leave the the fucking umbilical cord attached to kids. You know, so they can swing it around and shit. What a salient yeah, example. Cool. No, it's a bunch of extra yeah. bullshit skin. Look. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You don't gotta clean underneath the Re head. Retard take. What about retard women's take. tits? That's just extra skin. Why don't we lop that shit off? <laughs> well, that's we should lop. I mean, I mean, we should we should <laughs> we should cut people's feet doing. off. We should cut people's feet off so they don't get fucking fungus. We yeah. should cut people's arms off you so they don't the have skin uh, off, it issues. It gives the dick more room to grow. So the That's penis not true. gets it, longer it's, it's across the opposite time. of that. 
It's the opposite of that. You're restricting it. Like there, there are different kinds of circumcisions out there. Like some doctors are fucking like a taking it all off, like a high, and, like a high and tight, like a Connecticut circumcision. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a very traditional, strict circumcision. Hot and then other ones are more loosey goosey. Wait, Taylor, what is this about the most sensitive part of the skin? That the, you, what the do you most, mean? Yeah. So the most sensitive, nerve ending dense part of the penis is the foreskin. Oh, that is. It is incredibly dense, and it also serves to keep the tip of the penis more moist. Yeah, as you know, the tip of your dick is very, very sensitive. When it's not exposed to air all the time, like it's not supposed to be, it it stays more moist and it retains more sensation. I'm sue from my a, from a pure from a purely pleasure based argument. Don't yeah. think about anything but pleasure if that's the easiest thing for you to con conceive. Just think about <laughs> just think about the pleasure argument of you have had what is natural sex robbed from you by an industry that makes money. Someone took a vacation. Someone bought a jet ski from the money they made cutting part of your dick off. That's fuck. Look, I don't and spend there are a lot people, of time thinking about I, the penis know. pleasure of little boys, okay? Boom, so. boom, on to number three, <laughs> on to number three. You this can't. is perfect. Thank you so much. This is perfect. This is perfect because my next point was they when they realize that your arguments are salient and there's nothing they can say to really go up against it, they say, why do you care? Yeah, and they play the ambivalent card. Yeah. No, See, no, that's what you do. You say, I, I think really it's that I I, I care about like children not that being mutilated. That was the pedophile profit. card that he just yeah, played, yeah. I think that's good. And he can I try and play that because he's frantic. About little he, boys' dicks and you know how much pleasure they're gonna get and wow. how moist they are. This is a pot I, I guess the I guess I have <laughs> I, I guess I have a lot more empathy for children than you do. I, I I'm concerned with the well being of kids. Taylor told me and to so, nag his problem. I'm trying my best. <laughs> <laughs> oh I know. No, you're just no, I know I I no, I would, are you I would wait feel a minute like, Vito, are you pro or or uh anti circumcision? I, I'm anti -circum it's it's a pointless it's just pointless. Pointless. Yeah. It's actually worse than pointless. Well, I don't it think. I think. Bad. I think the negatives and the positives are like a trade-off, but it's just useless. What did you hear so that shit about the dick? Does that my he's dick need about? to be more sensitive? I have a very sensitive yes. dick to begin with. Yes, but you don't Why know do if you would have had. Your your pointer finger. Oh, what, so I would waste more time jerking off. Like I need less of that in my life. If anything, I want no, it'd less. No, it'd be better. It's just Being one and done. Feel more coming. It would be better. You'd yeah. be able to feel more sensation. As a shooter and not a dribbler, it already feels way too good. All right. As a real shooter, you got to get on lock. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have some of those? Can I have some of those yeah, cum pills that you have? I'm yeah, always looking for new ways. I'll, Wait, what the fuck? I'll cum ship pills? You Taylor sells these pills that make you have more cum when you shoot your cum loads. I, I'm always looking for new ways to make uh, sex more miserable for my girlfriend. Gorilla Do they shoot farther or you jizz. just shoot more jizz? Hold on. What was you, it? You shoot more jizz. You shoot more jizz. Okay. And you don't, you don't shoot more actual semen. It just increases like your prostate production. So you have a lot more seminal fluid. And so really the amount of time you're orgasming seems more because wow. you know the most intense time is as it's coming out. So it'll intensify your orgasm and wait, you'll be wait. busting like a goddamn champ. What do you mean? What was all that doctor stuff? What did you say? Seminal fluid? What do you mean? So it's the stimulating fluid. like your prostate to create more fluid. It's not actually creating more... Uh, sperm itself, so you're not becoming like more fertile, you're not more but it will potent, make you. Yeah, just yeah more, you're not more potent. More fluid, you'll bust more longer. Fluid. More fluid, huh. which means in a more yeah. intense orgasm. Great. So it's it's a very good thing. And how but, do uh, I how do I obtain this? You go to go. You go to. You can look up lock and load, or go to gorillaminds.com Gorilla and Mind. use code Gorilla Mind. Use code PKA or code Jizz. Anything on the website you can use those for. They give so. you code Jizz. That's the best code. We we had to request it. I yeah. guess. Is that Gorilla <laughs> Mind? Is that related to Mike Go Cernovich in any way? Like Gorilla Mind? No, it's mindset? related. Uh, no, do you know who um, More Plates, More Dates, Derek is oh, I've on heard YouTube? Of that guy. Yeah, yeah, it's his supplement company. Oh, yeah, okay. He's a, Okay. And there's a reason you got to take nine pills a day because it's an efficacious dose. Dick, why are you writing it down? It's a podcast. You can listen to it. <laughs> I'm not listening to the whole fucking show to get the jizz code. If I write it down, I could remember it more better. Right. Yeah, PKA or jizz. But anyway, the the circumcision apologist thing. So like, circumcision, like we all know that's bad. But this, the apologia of it, yeah. like when you go to someone who is secular and there's no religious reason for them to think that, and you can tell them, secular hey, means not um, religious for the audience. Just so. Yes, for the audience. I means googled uh, it. Not <laughs> religious. <laughs> 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 means not religious people. So when confronted with that fact, they usually say stuff like, why do you care so much? Who cares? It goes from, it's a good thing 
yeah. to, oh, I'm actually ambivalent, I'm, I'm apathetic. And I would make the argument that hundreds of millions of boys being ritualistically mutilated for profit is actually not something you should be apathetic about. You should probably care about that. Save time in the that. bath, though. You're not cleaning all that dick cheese. See, and that, that's another thing that's interesting. I is want the dick for, cheese. Uh, I literally for millennia, it was understood that this was a religious ritual practice. It was a religious practice. There was no claim for thousands of years that this was somehow good for you or it prevented disease or it made you cleaner. Those things only came about in recent decades when people started going, what the oh. fuck are we doing this for? And they started going, actually, we have a study here that sh that compares high income people from Connecticut who are circumcised to low income people in like f fucking the oh, Congo. Your IQ goes up. And and you're uh, and you have way less STDs. It's like, oh yeah, wow, you, you compare go. two totally disparate populations with that different STD rates. It must be circumcision. Fucking doctors so lying there's no, again. There's it's that's all bullshit. Like it's you COVID have to be in all over again. Did you know the uncircumcised commit <laughs> sixty percent of all murders, Dick? <laughs> yeah, there is a put correlation. them out of their misery. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> I believe that because they're I'm cause angry because they can't feel. As I don't much even they like. I, I do just like to establish case law. Mm. And to put some fear into people, I do think we should. I should sue my parents. Yeah, for circumcising it, me. Man. Yeah, or something like just to get a case Denying on the books. you as much dick pleasure as you deserve. The whole yeah. thing. Your gasms could have been like twice as good, and you'll never know. And it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. <laughs> it's embarrassing. If I was it's, right, you could sue. I, sure. Uh, suing parents should be. Look, there's only. We're not going to get our parents' houses or their money. Because BlackRock is going to give them reverse <laughs> mortgages to pay them to go oh, sit God. in double Cialis bathtubs right. or toilets with <laughs> overlooking bluffs or whatever right. until they're yeah. dead. Right? We're not. Yep. Gonna, none of us are going to get shit from our parents unless we sue their ass. And I'm going to start this with the circumcision <laughs> lawsuit. Just an e a quick, quick, yeah. a quick 100, 100,000, whatever you got, fifty grand, seventy grand, whatever. What we're going to set a legal <laughs> precedent. For suing our parents for some of that money. Well, I'm in favor of that. You lead that charge. Yeah. And based on how it goes. it goes, I'll follow suit. Come on. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> yeah. And I support you. <laughs> People do sue their parents. It's, it's, there's pressure. Laziness there. is yeah. ignorance is no excuse for chopping off my wiener. Well, they didn't chop yeah. off your wiener. They the good parts off. they did. You know, they no. chopped off a good bit of it. <laughs> good bit. Uh, 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 the, the sensitive, most sensitive yeah. part they got rid of. Yes. That's why I'm so sexually insatiable. That I've got, yes. I've got to follow all these whores on Instagram all the time because I can't derive the pleasure I God intended yeah. out of my dick. Look lawsuit. He's got a case for I'll talk to for Nick about it. I'm surprised there's no like interesting studies about the difference in life between circumcised and uncircumcised. There's got to be some difference. Do you have any Most stats? Of, well, because it's so like cultural. Do you, and, do you like, pleasure your wife less? You know? I mean, it's... You, I mean, do you men, definitely do slide around men better have with higher the rates of depression? Let's see. I bet they do. The National but Center for Health Statistics is 64% of related. uncircumcised boys become serial killers. Okay. Well. It could be. But I would think yeah. that circumcised guys would be more depressed because, like, people in first world countries are more likely to be depressed, whereas, yeah. like, an uncircumcised guy in Kenya is, like, He's got too many things going on to deal with the to like. But know, I look at the success of on. Jews around the world, and I go, "Well, shouldn't I do everything I can to emulate that success?" I, like I think what? They'd still be like successful chop off with, part with their of the dick, dick skin. Jews started this. Well, they're the big practicers of it. They love it. Really? Is that true, Taylor? Yeah, they have that guy it's going. Circumcision. Yeah, circumcision. They love it so much a... that the guy kisses the dick before they chop it off because they're all excited about it. No more stats. That's necessary. that's the <laughs> that's the like uh, ultra orthodox one. I've heard of that. Yeah. That's fucked up. He that's goes insane. in and he kisses the little baby penis. Okay, and then yeah. he and then he chops it off. All right, well, that was your and then that was your problem. People control. So this, see this guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's writing a fan fiction. And like, uh, the, well, I'm just saying they've done erotic. very well for themselves. I would no. Look, this is he's he's making. I it want seem to pattern kind of scary. myself this is after good for me. what they do. They live in tight knit circles. And Jews, shot, shot. yeah, yeah, they're very fam familial. What if they don't even circumcise people? each other? They just made that up. They might so just that, say that to trick us. So that gentiles trick the gentiles. Chop their dicks off. We're very gullible people. I wouldn't put I mean, past we're getting, them. We've been getting fooled for <laughs> thousands of years. They, they put that fake passage that that covenant with Abraham just yeah. retroactively. That's where it came from, Dick. If you didn't know the Bible, it's it's circumcision is a covenant with Abraham according to the it's Old Testament. With Abraham. Of, 
Yeah. I mean, I don't well, know. That's the other thing. Is, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I want to be close to Abraham. We didn't even get into that part. You do? Abraham? Yeah. Well, I don't want to be far away from Abraham. Yeah, but there's no reason for it because Jesus came and he fulfilled the old law and he made it so there was no reason to follow those rules. Do you rules think anymore. if I asked Jesus, should I cut off my penis, what would he say? He would say, he'd say, he'd get, say no. Get away from me. He was circumcised. Jesus? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know if he was or no. not. No. Does they the cross have, have a foreskin on it? No. It's a, it's a white it's guy. The, yeah. Well, he was wearing a like a tunic or something, a, a loincloth. You what? You did? You think they could afford scissors? When you They're resurrect, in a fucking stable. does every part of your body resurrect? Did Jesus resurrect with his foreskin? Probably. I bet he kept it. Hmm. I bet that was like a if you lose your leg, does it doesn't meet you back up in heaven. Uh, Taylor, have you ever looked into so. the foreskin regrowers? We did. We we were looking at something like that on uh, on PKA a yeah. long time ago, and like I am very against circumcision. But like, guys, come on now. Like, we're we're it hanging like weights from our dicks now. Like this, th that, Wait, that hang, can't be good for your dick either. From the to try and stretch out the skin. To yeah, like the yeah. neck, like oh. the ring on the African neck ladies. But it makes <laughs> maybe <laughs> it makes your it makes the tip of your dick look like a like 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 a knuckle. Like it looks it. like a fist, like a longshoreman's wrapping his hand around the head of your dick. Yeah, um, I'm just. I think like at that point, probably play the hand you're dealt. Let's not like rib up, rig up like a Rube Goldberg machine with marbles and games to yeah. stretch your dick out. Do trans, do trans men get to pick between because they make these like perfect replica penises on? <laughs> perfect? Is that what you believe? <laughs> well, yeah, because they're getting like they're getting their identity fulfilled by medicine. Yeah, they're not getting a perfect one. They're getting something. Well, it, it must be. <laughs> it must be. It must like, be uh, choice. They get to like go through a catalog and pick I out mean, what style. You know what they, they should want? get to do? They should really. They should just open the morgue and they get to pick from like a recent cadaver. Yeah. So no, that they you get, get a pick, real. You dick. get to pick which leg you want them to rip off a portion of your leg skin to roll up into a tube. That's the. Point. No, That's that can't be right. That would get. be that would be uh, butchery. That can't be right. <laughs> That would be, that would that, that that would be ghastly. You know, that's, <laughs> no, no society would allow. No, such that's a crazy. Thing. That would be that would be crazy. That's not it. Surely, you get surely, to pick. it's a three D generated, <laughs> grown from stem cells, perfect little organ. Yeah, not it's, just yeah. A don't tube be. Of it's growing off a, a rat's that is shoulder in a on. lab somewhere. Yeah, don't be transphobic. You're right, Dick. You obviously right. get to pick between. Yes. A circumcised or on they, they get to have a ten inch monster grown it's from like the a, finest it's like a water <laughs> wiener. Remember finest. those Thigh meat. <laughs> the water, yeah, the water, or whatever. The water wieners. Water wobblers. Hey, Taylor, you know what I'm talking about? The water wobble where you can't hold them because like, oh, oh yeah. it's wiggling away, right? Every As a teenager's kid, yeah. first flashlight. I tried to. Well, yeah. they didn't. They didn't. Work. <laughs> I tried to fuck one of those you, things. You, you couldn't. You couldn't put your dick in them. They didn't work for that. Yeah, they don't. It didn't work. Yeah. Uh, no, you need, if, you I don't need remember a real if I succeeded. So they uh, trans uh, men get one of those. Trans men get a water wobbler made out of wow leg flesh. Uh, can you but, circumcise uh, it? Yeah, you can circumcise. It. Oh, that's cool. Uh, At that okay. point, what what can't you do? You know, like, tattoo <laughs> it, do all sorts. Modern of Modern medicine. Wow. Modern medicine. We're able to do it all, folks. Okay, here's my problem. Maybe you'll like this one. Was that? Were you done? Yeah. Yeah. I'm good. Uh, do you know the circumcision status of everyone you know, Taylor? I check. Yeah, you check. That's good, cool. Good. Are there any surprises mm -hmm. that you have that you have encountered? No, no, not really. Most of the guys like I showered with throughout like all my years playing hockey and everything, like everyone was for the most part circumcised. Okay, uh, that's and we'd like com we'd compare. And what, who? What religions don't circumcise? Do Catholics circumcise? I think most Catholics do, but I think I don't think it's a Catholic thing. I think it's like it's just a, like an a, American, like American, a, an American thing, maybe. Yeah. yeah, Buddhist. I don't think they fuck with that shit. No, uh, yeah, because my family wasn't heavily religious, and they still just went. went, that they went night. Did it yeah. anyway. A lot, a lot of Christians do it. Yeah. Uh, okay. They, they went to my mom. And she's like, mutilate that boy, mutilate that sucker. My problem. Fuck him up, and here's two grand, fuck doctor. Yeah, been, that's the worst part. He's been fucking me up for nine months. This is payback. Oh yeah, that doctor sees you. 
He's been giving me cramps and shit. Cut off his fucking dick. A penis caused this. <laughs> a, a penis shall end it. <laughs> Chop that Give dick him. off, doctor. Did you did you, hey, did you hear that like women are being trained to hate men so much that like they hear if they have a male baby and they hear it cry, they're less likely to help it than if it was a female baby. Those cunts. Like it's getting really bad. Jesus. <laughs> I bet that could just be naturally like a naturally ingrained thing, though. Like the natural response to want to help women more than men. Yeah, like that's part of it. Thing. Is that like you hear a female crying and you're like, oh, that must really be a problem. You hear it probably gets him off. Baby boy crying. And you're like, he's just being a dick. Jesus Christ. <laughs> if you tell Alexa <laughs> to play a uh, male baby, I do this, you know, there's a, if I'm really trying to give my girlfriend a good time. Yeah. I'll, so I'm, hey, Alexa. Put on a male baby crying in pain before the lovemaking begins. Yeah. To really <laughs> she gets really her. turned on. She's like, what is this? And then, but I'm on it right away. <laughs> <laughs> right. Try it. That's Try sick. it. It's it's I'll give it a go. Okay. Uh, my problem is uh, sportsophobia. We all know homophobia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Best lead in ever. Go it on. Is, we I'm all excited know homophobia. <laughs> homophobia. And Islamophobia. Yeah. Sure. This is sportsophobia. Right. It is guys who are too phobied by sports that they just can't, that it comes out in like anger or mm. an, uh, severe discomfort. I was at a, a baseball game recently with this uh, with a guy, and the whole time he's peppering me with like sports ball. Comments. And oh, like, like ripping on the game. Yeah, or... I'm like, man, I'm like, I mean, I know, I don't, uh, you know, yeah, it's a baseball game, you know, yeah, yeah. so yeah. it's relaxed, okay, like, oh, hey, I get it. <laughs> You're yeah. very uncomfortable by this. Yeah. Like, it feels like it just feels like. Ooh, I bet they're gonna like... run fast next, and you're like, yeah, that's part of it. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, yeah. and then who that's knows? part of the sport. Who knows who's better? Like an arbitrary score. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Well, a score, a score based on the skill of the guys real, on the field. Real scientific here, <laughs> isn't it? If you ask me. And then what? We're gonna eat peanuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's sports uh, neggers. Oh, Elon Musk. Yeah. And then what? I guess we're just gonna go watch uh, football or hockey or something. And then that's like a whole different, different bunch of guys. Like, yeah, yeah. No, I know what you're saying. Yeah. It's interesting. There's some guys it's who go threatening like, in the same way that homophobia, yeah. sexuality. <laughs> That makes ah. people homophobic. Well, there's some guy like I'm a guy. I'm not like deeply into sports. I like sports. I fucking hate sports. I, I like watching replays <laughs> and stuff. Watching, I I can't sit and watch like a whole game. But if it's like a good play, I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. But you know, Little you League World Series. That, that's give, good. That's yeah. Choice. What about you? What do you think? Why about? you want to watch little boys cry? That was a test. Yeah, I don't want to watch the Little League World <laughs> Series at all. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was wondering where you were going with that. <laughs> I was going to say, you know, you might make a couple little jokes like, oh, you guys getting into the sports ball or whatever. But yeah, yeah, there are some guys who like take it to the point of like, they think that if you're into sports, you're like legitimately a ne Neanderthal, that you're low intelligence. Mm -hmm. It makes them so uncomfortable. Yeah. Like you don't yeah. have to be like, a f you don't have to be like lash out. Yeah. You don't got to know all the stats. You can it's just making watch. you uncomfortable. Yeah. Like it's like the same thing, like, you know, a preacher who's like, and these uh, Q's and F's are going to burn in the internet. Like, I don't know, man. I kind of feel like you're a little projecting. Or yeah. Something you're projecting here. something, yeah. something about these you're uh, too mad about something it. about this yeah. makes you uncomfortable. Something about these guys having too good of a time. Yeah, is making you uncomfortable. Yeah, Sharing these guys you know, found I, out that uh, uh, they're living a life where they don't have to deal with women at all, and you're and he's mad. They found a loophole. Yeah, you're shooting on plan. for some reason. Why do you go doing? to the game with you? Just as like a lark? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to figure that out. The I whole mean, time. as a fat guy at the ball game, I'm like, well, I'm gonna get a hot dog out of it. You know, I know what's there for me. But uh, he yeah. didn't even, he wasn't even there for the I was like, food I was, I was the on excitement. the Muppets, like Waldorf yeah. and Stadler. And I'm like, I hate these guys. These guys <laughs> fucking suck. Like, why are you at the play then, motherfucker? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> we are here every no, so night was, for was these he, Muppets. Was he doing like that, that like reductivist sports thing they'll do where it's like, so you let me get this straight. You're going to watch five guys <laughs> run up and down a court, bouncing a ball and putting it in a net. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> What? I'm going to rewatch Rick and Morty. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. it's all right. Meanwhile, like, that guy will go on Twitch and watch the same guy play Call of Duty for like hours. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, this is awesome. It's just like recognize that that's someone else's dumb thing that they like. Like, it's fine. Like, sport. I love hockey. I'm actually, I'm genuinely excited for the NHL season to start tomorrow because yeah. I'm going to watch the game. It's going to be a blast. Like, it's going to be great. It's yeah. fun. It's just even, a fun, stupid even thing. Even as to a like. guy who's not into sports, I have to admit, sports are cool. 
Now, yeah. the uniforms could be cooler. That's one big problem. But other right. than that... Men's sports. Yeah, men's sports. They're hard to do. It's like, wow, I couldn't do that. That guy, women's sports, you're like, ah, yeah, yeah, I could do that. <laughs> yeah. But men's sport, <laughs> is there a women's hockey league? I thought you would like this problem because you're so into hockey, Taylor. Uh, is there a women's hockey league? Yeah, they're... Really? Not a, not a good one. Uh, well, like it, it's like a it's, like it's like a minor teams. league that's like a little bit supported, but like hockey as a sport is so much less popular than basketball and has so much less money coming in that like the NBA can just support WNBA every season because that's how it's paid for. Like the WNBA doesn't sell shit, yeah, and they don't even notice. The NBA makes money hand over fist. Hockey doesn't. The NHL doesn't have that kind of money to support a minor league, and so they'll like try and get it <laughs> going. Minor and, league. Right? Yeah, a minor it's not, it was women's, but it just came out. Yeah. 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 Sorry, keep going. <laughs> it would be effectively. I mean, yeah, you're right. It, yeah. it would be a pro league, but like the kind of pro league that like any really good 16 year old boy could go and dominate. And it's just, it's not that interesting. Like women's hockey, I just don't really care. There's no hitting in it. And that's a huge part of the control and the pacing of the game. And so no hitting makes it not as interesting. Yeah, uh, and I the shooting is much, it. much slower. They're not allowed to check each other and like. No, no, they don't check no the way heist. men do. I wouldn't yeah. want to see a woman take a hockey stick and they they the wear uh, be they wear full cages. <laughs> they pretty much never fight. Huh. Yeah, that's so a, very okay. different. But hockey yeah, I, is I the know best exactly. Sport. Hockey see, is the best. Sport. See, hockey, You're a great guy. Hockey is closest to being like yeah what, white. Well, it's like what all? No, it's not because it's all white guys. <laughs> it's more sports to emulate like hockey. Like first of all, obviously allow fighting. Mm-hmm. Just working into the rules. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, not yeah, like just you know, touch. you got a yeah. ca- you got a cage. You do five minutes in the cage, come back out, slap them. Like yeah. basketball should have slapping. Like what the fuck, oh, slap. Yeah. And, and then was, the ref. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> go ahead. Like I'll, I'll see clips from like the NBA where it's like, did you see this wild clip of so and so? You know, beating up this guy, and you watch it, and it's like a, a mild shove. Yeah, gentle. And it's touch. like, oh well, that's not as intense as I thought. In hockey, like they have to make rules every couple of years because someone will find a new way to fuck with people. <laughs> they had to make a so screening a goalie is when you stand in front of the goalie so that he can't see the shot coming right, from yeah. your teammate. Awesome. There, they they never made a rule that you can't turn around and face the goalie and wave your stick in his face <laughs> un- <laughs> until until Sean Avery did that against Martin yeah, Brodeur, awesome. and they had they had to make a rule. They're like, yeah. you can't fucking do that, man. Like three years ago, Brad Marchand, he was getting up in somebody's face. They're about to like scuffle, but instead of fighting, he just like the guy looked away and he licked up the entire length of his face. <laughs> In the middle of in the middle of the game, he God, licked him, so cool. and like and the the NHL like players association or the like disciplinary arm nope. had to be like, like well, we yeah. are reviewing this to determine an appropriate suspension for Brad Marchand <laughs> and the in, in the licking incident. This is unhygienic, not respectful to the game. COVID. And it's, like, no, it's not in the rules. It's not in the rules. If it's not in the rules. You can do it. Yeah. If a draft so, wants yeah, to play right. hockey, if you can get him on skates, it doesn't say in the rule book. Draft can't play hockey. Yeah. They got I, I didn't they wanna, gotta get rid of the pump. throat guards though, because that was the that was the best thing in hockey when that guy got his fucking throat cut open. Yeah, <laughs> dude, yeah. Clint, Clint Malachuk. Like, oh shit. That was his name, Clint Malachuk. Oh, you can see was? that clip online. Yeah, yeah he dude, almost died. The, the fucking ice is just like flooded with blood, and you're like, this is the most hardcore sport that's ever existed. And then oh, you point yeah. your fucking throat can get slashed. It's brutal. Yeah, I I really like this. I don't want to say I like your problem because we're competing, but yeah. this is so true because like there is a contingent of people out there who get a feeling of superiority and like intelli- an air of like oh I'm intelligent from nothing more than like making it known that they dislike sports. And I get that's that. it. I get that, and I'm sympathetic to that. But then at some point, it's like it turns into something else, or it's yeah. Like, like you guys, this can't exist. Like, there's no way anybody could enjoy this. This is a serious threat to me. I'm like, well, I mean, I don't know, man. Maybe you should just, maybe you should just do some miniature golf. Like, maybe you got to get yeah. this. Maybe you got to get it out of your system. But sometimes again, you win, sometimes you lose. As I was mm-hmm. saying in my sports uniform, well, they got to bring the pageant. Those people would all be convinced if you brought the pageantry into the sport. I don't want a bunch of fucking dildos walking around in Technicolor dream coats on the field. Well, you know, I, it should all be like WWE. There should be like between, 
you know, fucking innings. You go talk to a guy. He's like, I'm going to hit this ball so fucking hard that Mad Dog Mackerson is going <laughs> to okay. hear it coming. Yes, yeah. I agree. I agree. There needs some, nar- there Ooh, needs to be some narrative. I'm about to clobber this ball in a way you've never seen. Anyone who tries to get between me and third base is going to feel the hurt, brother. Yeah, that's You cool. try that slider on me. I'm going to come to the mound and rape you. <laughs> yeah, imagine they went to the players you. like, you know, there needs to be a guy on the fucking field. I'm thinking of, uh, remember most extreme elimination challenge? Yeah. The little guy runs oh, up. Yeah. Oh, guy LaDouche. Oh, oh, yeah, guy LaDouche. Guy LaDouche. Oh, what are you going to do when he hits the ball? I'm going to run it into the fucking home base as hard as I've ever done it before. Oh, you look very strong today. You know what else I don't like? Okay, okay, like a baseball game? Yeah. They'll do this big intro for the home team, and then they don't do any intro for the visiting team, and everyone just kind of accepts it. But the visiting team should, like, just drive a monster truck through the dugout and go, like, fuck LA! Exactly. Fuck Fuck LA! <laughs> Fuck you! You're all sitting through our whole thing, and they have like some asshole coming like, bah, 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 bah. like I'm the Colorado Rockies, and I'm here to say the everyone's best LA is gay. Fuck yeah, you! Fuck you! Part. And they're like trying to get it. They're saying like n n n n n n n, trying to get them like demonetized on YouTube and shit. The stream. Yes. I'll get you fucking all you streamers out there. Load them up. Here we go. N n n n n n. Now you're all demonetized. Suck my dick. The build, right? the build up to a sports event is better than the sports event itself. It's the fucking announcers. It's because all the fucking announcers are so boring and clean <laughs> yes. cut, pencil yes. dick, suit wearing Joe Buck motherfuckers. Is that guy even still alive? I, Joe I don't Buck. Know if Joe Buck is still God, going. I hope not. Fuck. I don't think Joe Buck's still going. I could be wrong. I hope he's dead. <laughs> God willing. I hate Joe Buck so much. Yeah. I hate that he tried to clown on Artie Lang on like his first HBO. Uh, anyway. Did he? Oh, yeah. I'm going I remember, way, yeah. way, I back. Remember I'm way, way back. I'm going way, way back. Anyway, sportsophobes. Sportsophobes. And they're in like they're one. in video. They're in esports too. Oh really? They're talking like, oh, what do you watch? Would you play? Yeah, yeah. What are you watching? Video legends. games in there? Yeah, I'm watching fucking. Yeah, yeah but that's games. funny. Oh, is your I don't want to watch more pro powerful gaming. than their elf. What'd yeah, you say, like, yeah, is your is your character more powerful than his uh, demon? It's like, yeah, I, I'm not interested in watching someone play League of Legends, but yeah. I don't think people are dumb or bad for if that's your thing. Live it up, have fun, enjoy it. Like, yeah. I don't. What are you watching? If you're sports. watching people play video games, why don't you just play them? Oh yeah, yeah I know. fuck you. That's but, what that's what they want to be okay, doing. That's is that is that worse than watching fucking season fifty one of The Simpsons? No. It's you're right, I should watch The Office for the 10,000th well, time. Yeah, You should watch yeah. The Office for the 10,000th time. I'll put on, put on King of the Hill for the millionth time. you got to get Picasso Plus so you can watch the, the uh, Superfan episodes. Of what? Of The Office. No, The Office sucks. They've taken all the jokes that weren't good enough to get on TV and edited them back into the show, and it's made it actually worse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, really? I, I can tell why you cut that joke, because it's very bad. Okay, this so what, were our, what no. were our problems? Sportsophobes... Um, uh, fear of self-promotion. Circumcision and apologist? Circumcision. Either way is uh, fine. Circumcision apologist, yeah. yeah. Okay, fear of self-promotion. Okay. Uh, Taylor, you want to hang out while we do voicemails and super chats? Or feel free to leave it any time. You don't even have to say it. You could just hang up. Or we could listen to these uh, voicemails together. Uh, I think I'm going to go uh, start watching a movie with my wife. Get out of here. So gonna, Thank you for yeah, coming on. One more time, Taylor. How do people find you? Painkiller already. Thank you, Vito, for professionally See how I do that? having me See shout how it out. Should do that. You're welcome. And you know you. when you come on when you come on PKA, I'll set you I up. I almost just, just hung like up that. right there. <laughs> 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 All right, take care, guys. So, yeah, thank you for having good. me. I really wait. Are you going to have Vito on? Yeah, PKA. absolutely. I'll we'll come on anytime. On. We'll get you on the schedule, man. We'll Sounds get you on the schedule. Do you have enough power to do that? Oh, I got some sway. That was an I got accusation. Some sway over there. <laughs> I don't know. You're, like, you're kind of the bitch of that group, aren't you? Well, I know Woody could get you on. I don't know if Taylor could get you on. Well, we'll see what I'll happens. I'll get you on. All right. Okay, now, now, now I got it. Dude. Yeah, now you like got to prove it or else you're a bitch. <laughs> Taylor, you made the well, correct, you well made the right friend. decision not doing the voicemail part. I like the oh, okay. voicemail part. They're fun, <laughs> even though they all shit on me for some reason. Go enjoy them. What movie are you watching? Do you even know? I'm gonna look for a scary movie. You should watch that. Oh, watch Andor. Watch, watch. Don't watch Andor. Uh, fuck stars. <laughs> watch Fall. It's fall? a new movie. It's a new movie about two uh, fat girls. Oh, the one where they're climbing the thing. Yeah, these two fat girls climb. Okay, well they're not fat. Well, they're not. <laughs> I'll be the, I'll be the judge. They get of that. stuck. They get stuck on a TV tower. 
Yeah. And the whole movie is about these two fat girls stuck on a TV tower and like they're trying to get down. And their cell phones are out of batteries and the ladder oh, wow. broke away. They're like, we're going to the free broke climb away. it. We're going to like go on, you know, live it to the max. It's, it's funny because they get to the top of the thing and they're just like, we're fucking stuck up here and we're going to die. Yeah, but they're still <laughs> chicks. Yeah. Like, so there's kind, of, there's kind of plot holes, and you're like, well, why don't they just do that? And then you're like, ah, because they're still chicks. They don't Because they're gonna, stupid. Yeah, because yeah. they're fucking <laughs> down. Right? I'm going to go watch Fall right now. All right. Yeah. It's okay. as good as you're promising. Have fun, bud. Thank you again, guys. Thank you so good much for being here. Right. Goodbye. Take care. Good luck with your problem. Taylor from PKA. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at how he's dancing. Oh, that's back. pretty fucking Fuck. cool, actually. <laughs> I love it. Well, okay. what a great guest. What a great show. Oops. No, it's not over yet, but. Uh, we have some voicemails here. Guys, if you enjoyed the show, don't forget to vote on all the problems. We'll put them up after the show at biggestproblem.show. And you can check out our bonus episodes at patreon.com slash biggestproblem. We are so close to hitting to that 6K? 6K mark. Are you going to go shove that in like everyone's face who's making fun of you? No, look, I didn't shove it in their face. No, because that's 72000 They said you're only making, that's I don't true. know, less, 60000 Yeah, but I don't take all the money from the pay. Whatever. We split it. Um, I do have to do my taxes. That's going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, I just finished mine. It sucks. It sucks. I need more money. Oh, yeah? Did, did they suck it out of you? Uh, Zelensky did. Yeah. The Ukraine did. The fucking stock market. All like, I don't know, man. I think the nukes are cheaper than, like, Zelensky. Yeah, at this point, just let the nukes fly and we'll see what yeah, happens. Fuck them. What does that one say? What does that one? Vito was what? Vito was right about the comic. Here oh, my. Hey, Vito. Hey, Dick. Hey, Adam hey. from Indiana. First time caller on a show here. Long time listener to Dick Show. Uh, I'm going to have to defend Vito here. Uh, you guys are always busting his balls, but size they are. Uh, mm. About mm. Uh, th that comic book dude. I, I can't remember his name. Not important. But I think Dick is jealous of Tim Pool. Fight Tim Pool. Oh, that saying, was it? He's saying you're jealous of Tim Pool. You brought in Tim Pool. Well, he's saying my jealousy, everyone talks about my jealousy, that oh. your jealousy is never brought up, I believe is what he's saying. <sighs> jealous of Tim Pool. Yeah, but how could you be jealous of Tim Pool? Here, here's the thing about jealousy. People always go, you're jealous of that guy, and I go, First of all, it's I envious. Can't be it's envious, you fucking retard. It's not jealous. Well, I don't know the you're Jealous of something you have that someone else covets. You're envious of something you do not have that you covet. Yeah, but the point is that you you would never do a show like Tim Pool's. So why would you be either jealous yeah, or envious? Yeah, I of couldn't him? have an audience like yeah. His audience is um, well, like there's some good people, I assume. But, it's the same but, with Eric July, where I go, if I was a big black libertarian, yeah, conservative shield for idiots, then yes, maybe I would be. But look jealous. at the way, like the way people are reacting that get his comic. It makes me feel sick. The the the. the <laughs> I, if, I don't know how people like when we talk about the comic, but I will say that it is what no, I said no, it would be. They do. It's it's interesting. Yeah. Like it's a uh, the comic's what I said it would be. It's like if you uh, if you hand a first time writer like uh, oh I'm gonna make a superhero comic. It's worse and it than have what any you said it would be. It. Yeah, and it's just a guy and he runs around and he punches guys. But he didn't even follow. It's it sounds like he didn't even follow like a basic. Uh, There's no structure. Story. There's no arc or anything. Yeah. Everyone's going, I like that I got to the end of the comic and I didn't know what the character's powers were or who anyone else's powers were or where he came from or why they're superheroes at all. And I'm like, so what did you get out of it exactly? Like, dude, you could have hired like any like elementary school English teacher to watch walk you through like the 12 stages of the hero's journey and you didn't even need to make yeah. it good. And people would have said, this is the next coming of Christ. <laughs> That's the thing is like but yeah. you just wung you wung it you winged it and you fucked it up and they're just like wow look at the the paper look yeah. at the box oh the man box. so every Crazy review man's has like, look been, at the t-shirt every it's review like, has been look at the t-shirt I got so many of the reviews are wow look at how impressive this cardboard mailer is you can tell Eric's taking this seriously I'm like yeah you pay ten dollars for shipping on a fucking little rinky dink comic of course I would hope it comes in a it should come in a a, a bronze so, suitcase for ten dollars shipping yes yeah, uh, anyway yeah every review has been well it looks professional and I'm like all right. Yeah. I mean, um, what I'm seeing is people going, they're like, I paid $30 for a comic book. And they're like, will you buy the second one? And it's like, well, not if it's going to be 30 bucks again. So everybody now, now the challenge <laughs> is, are you going to keep selling $30 comic books? Or are you now going to go back? to Because like, Marvel and DC, a comic book at most is like five bucks. Eric, if, if he's smart, yeah. he should send everybody 
three f- the next three issues for free. Yeah, to make up for spending. Basically, it as ended up being bonus. like fifty dollars as to a buy bonus. That first comic. Yeah, yeah, you just do write a bunch of write a bunch more stories. Don't tell them and say, "Hey, look, I'm sending." Wait till the first one's second one's done, and then send it out. But actually, get someone like even the shittiest LA writer can follow basic stories. I think he's hiring a bunch of writers. Like rumors, that's a mistake. One <laughs> writer. Well, he, that's the thing is he's trying to make a superhero universe, so he has to have like four different superhero. Co- that was always my thing. Is I'm like, okay, it would be one thing if you said I want to make a comic. It's going to be my one comic, and I'm going to focus on it. He specifically said, I'm making a superhero universe like Marvel or DC. There will be multiple yeah. superhero books with multiple writer and artist teams. And I'm like, you do not have the experience or talent necessary to do that. Even I don't yeah. want to do that. I'm making a comic yeah, because it would be fucking insane to be like, oh, I'm just going to make my own Marvel universe. But the voicemail was about me. Yeah. Uh, I'm Because you're jealous of Tim Pool. Envious. Uh, I'm... I... <laughs> I wish I was making as much money as Tim Pool, but I really, you got to understand, I've been like up, down, up, down, yeah. up, down. Like in order to be, in order to be as, in order to be at that level, like as successful as Tim Pool, Steven Crowder, uh, I think even, I think this happened to Gavin McGinnis too, but all these like big guys, like the Young Turks, you have to be at a permanently Sustainable state of cringe or insanity to keep it going because they're all, like I was saying. Stephen Crowder's actually insane. Like I can't see, imagine trying he's, to live his life. It's you insane know? or cringe. Like yeah. he just sucks. Like every I I look at what he does and I'm like, man, that was like I've had some episodes of the show. Where I'm like, ah, eh, that sucked. But it's like you you're just pumping out sucky stuff. Yeah. On a on the regular, like ah man. Um, Maybe the money's worth it. I'm so, I'm not envious of it though, but maybe that's a cope. Maybe that's just a rationalization. I don't know. I'm pretty fine with. I it. think my cope is that the most popular things, the most popular media, is usually not good. Yeah. You know, like when you look at like the top, bo- it's like oh, Transformers was the number one movie at the box office. You're like, wow, that movie's a piece of shit. It's horrible. You know, so like yeah, if you want to be that popular, so are horrible. Yeah, you have things that people are talking about. Horrible. Yeah. So. You do get to that point where you go, yeah, I would love to be, you know, internationally recognized and loved, but you kind of have to be a big dumb idiot to accomplish that. Yeah. Who's know. like a really smart guy who everybody loves? Alex Jones. Okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, I would be. <laughs> I, I I wish if any if I'm envious of anyone, it's Alex Jones or Nick Fuentes for his youth. And vigor. His youth and his vigor. His youth and his vigor. Oh, please stop praising Nick Fuentes on this show. <laughs> I feel like it's going to lead down a bad path I at some point. would take a bullet for Nick Fuentes. <laughs> See, I don't... I because disavow. of his politics. Someday I'm going to try and do something with my life, and they're going to go, is this you on a podcast where your co-host Motherfucker, you got no someday. About- <laughs> your life is done. <laughs> no, you got a... You're uh, point- bigger and better things <laughs> you're ahead. You're to a horizon that don't fucking Super exist. Killer, the animated series, <laughs> is on its way. <laughs> okay, here we go. You're both retards, it says. Okay. Hey, Dick Vito. Hi. You both are complete fucking retards. Yes. Okay. For two separate reasons, mind you. Oh, okay. Okay. So, Dick, you're a fucking retard because you're a fucking alt tab shit, right? I know it's a couple weeks since then, but like, no job. So, fuck. No, you. that's hard. That's a, that's uh, a big problem. Alt shift tab will bring you back <laughs> to the previous tab. <laughs> shift, add it into your fucking hockey. It's yeah, easy yeah, as fuck. It brings <laughs> alt you back. Shift tab, moron. It brings you back every time. Yeah, but time. you don't know Video. you fucked up. You're a you fucking slow fucking idiot. You're the whole fucking Dame Peso stinger war. Like, what the fuck, man? Wait, what? Like, yeah, what the You, f- you a fucked up. professed. Uh, dick sucker, like you enthusiastically suck dick, albeit right. on you know passable trans right. women. Like you suck dick. Yeah. Uh, which is cool. Don't fucking fight homophobia with homophobia. Like a fight homophobia with being homosexual. Homosexual. Like, don't call him Dame Pesos. Call him Dame Besos. Give me kisses. Yeah, you should be. You should be aggressively. You want to I kiss should aggressively be hitting on top of yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, really not that hard, man. With them. It's not hard. Anyways, fuck you. Well, fuck but you I'm like the cool gay that like I find hot trans chicks and I, you know, 
do Hot crazy trans kinky chicks? shit with them. Yeah. Really? Dami Pesos finds big, gross dudes, and he sucks their armpit hair. <laughs> That's what I was trying to, you know, get at. I don't know if you're... It's different. You're... I don't know if you're it's making different. the point that you think you're making. It's different. <laughs> okay. I think my stinger was fantastic, and I think most people agree. Okay. Uh, here's another one. Biggest problem in the universe is retards who live places where natural disasters periodically happen. Yes. Huh. Like, I don't understand how these people in Florida are getting fucking evac'd off their roofs and, like, floods and shit, and then go, you know what, I'm going to just fucking stay here and live here. Like, what... What are you doing? Like, we know, we have proof that every single fucking year a hurricane comes through and destroys everything. Why would you live somewhere where every year all your shit gets destroyed? Is it like some sort of insurance scam? Like, I don't get it. Is everybody in Florida in on this? It just doesn't make any goddamn sense to me. Why would you choose to continue living somewhere? That what are you? What's this like? It, well, I'm smiling because, up. like, if Jerry, Jerry Seinfeld said this idea, it would be funny. Yeah. But he, this guy's not This guy funny. doesn't have the delivery. Right? Why do you live in an area? <laughs> Why do you live in an area that gets wiped off the map every year? Is that a challenge to God? <laughs> right? <laughs> Gotta get a new map. Uh, you see that story I posted where some guy had, like, a video game store right in the path of the hurricane, and instead of, like, putting everything in plastic bins and putting it in a U-Haul or something. He's just like, ah, it'll be fine. And the whole store gets flooded and he's got no insurance. He's got no insurance? He had like $100,000 worth of insurance on $2 million worth of inventory. And then <sighs> it, they have the nerve to post a GoFundMe and they're like, gamer community, can you help us out? It's like, no. Did they Insure not help him out? your shit. They gave him like eight grand or something. Really? Yeah. Game store. F I think it's called 8-Bit. Ah, shit, what's it called? 8 yeah, eight bit, eight bit Hall of Fame was the Hall. name of the store. Oh, that's a good name. It's not a bad name. Uh, Flooded. Hit news. The news tab. News. I spelled it Ness. Yeah, that's not going to help you at all. Um. Okay. News. Hurricane Ian. U.S. That was the name. Ian I thought they were going to name them women now. Well, what we found out was uh, it alternates. I guess it goes between man, woman, man, woman. It should only be named women. Yeah, those are the better ones. Maybe it's named. We got corrected on a previous show. I thought it was all women's names, but it just so happens that the male hurricanes are typically pussy hurricanes. Uh, a man sits in his. Tr oh, there's Ho Hulk Hogan, not Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Yeah, I guess this one doesn't have it. I don't know. I had posted it on Twitter, but basically they had a ton of video games. They had like a ton of cool shit. And uh, U.S. Hurricane destroys museum and eight bit. They call it a museum, but it was just a game store. Hmm. They had a bunch of pictures of like everything flooded, and you're like, all you had to do was go to Home Depot and buy plastic bins. You know, maybe tie them up. Like, yeah, it might knock them over, but it, everything wouldn't have got waterlogged and destroyed. Well, that's a shame. Here's another one. Yes. What's going on, fellas? Just calling to say the biggest problem in the universe is those stupid fucking stickers that women put on their car that say like. Silly boys, trucks are for girls, or you just got passed by a girl. Yes. First of all, women shouldn't even be fucking driving, all right? <laughs> That's something that Saudi, Saudi Arabia has right. Yes. Inshallah, thank them for Inshallah. that. Inshallah. Yes. Many other things. But yes. secondly, when I see one of those, I don't go, oh, fuck, a woman just passed me. Oh, my God. I go, shit, I better slow down. I mean, I got my son in the backseat, and who knows what this dumb bitch in front of me is going to do. Yes. A hundred percent of accidents are women's fault. Yes. Whether they're being stupid as fuck on the road or whether some guy gets in an accident Absolutely. he's stressed out about what's going on at home. It's just unbelievable. They think it's this thing where it's like, oh, fuck, I can't believe that just happened. Oh, yes. my God. There's no way she just passed me. Oh, that's crazy. She just passed me. Fuck you. You're not special. You're yes. just some whore who has a truck. I don't care. Anyway, so go fuck yourself. Yes. <laughs> All right. This is my new favorite bit. I'm not going to lie. Yes, yes, yes. The woman must not drive. The woman must not put sticker. She must not drive. She is to distress Allah. She distress Allah. Do I have any more women things here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she must be put in the dirt like the demons that she is. Inshallah, inshallah. God. Give my language. Allah. Akbar. <laughs> Uh, this is a great bit, and we need to. You need to bookmark this song because it's part. You need to save this song. <laughs> I've already. I've, how do you think I found it so yeah, fast? Yeah, of course, it's in our playlist. <laughs> the woman.
woman must not drive, the woman must not cut off the penis! The woman! They have the bumper sticker that says, Silly boy, a jeep is for a woman. But they do not even know. A jeep stands for a GP. General purpose. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, brother Masterson. This is an insult against the great Allah. Is a most terrible insult against our God. Women drive a jeep like a man yes. or drive a motorcycle. Yes. <laughs> It is the same. La, 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 the same. Inshallah. <laughs> Inshallah. <laughs> Preach, brother. Okay. All right. Um, should we just do super chance? Oh, real quick. Do we do, 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 any Dame Vito Stinger Bell? Oh, yeah. Let's okay, get okay, one okay, more. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Hey, guys. I think it's the sign. Let's get rid of that uh, fucking voted up bit and just bring in the uh, Dame Vito Stinger Battle. Did you hear what he said? No. <laughs> I think he was saying that he wants to stop doing the voted ups and just do Dame, Dame Stinger. Stinger battles. I think we're going to run out of Dame stuff as well. We'll see. No, you just have to make it homoerotic. Well, now that we, like, have, now that we have 10 voted up Stingers, I said when we hit 10, I would upload a compilation to our YouTube channel. Okay. So if you want to hear all the Stingers again, I will put that up over the next week. Okay. Here is the... Let's check out the Super, super chats. chats. What do you think about Taylor? Do you think he'll invite you on PKA? No. You could. You should bother him more if you're so, if you're so fucking bold about self-promotion not that you don't Look, care I'll about I'll take, I'll how take the looks. invitation, but he's going to go to him and he's going to go, I know this cat fucker, and they're going to go, I just don't think he's right for this Yeah, show. but according to you, you should press for it. You All right, fine. I'll, you I'll should put him on blast Taylor. on Twitter. Well, that was your whole thing. No, so. Uh, go up. No, oh, it's, it's seven. You know, not enough super chats today, guys. Come on. Let's get them in there. Yeah. Mike Hunt for five entertainment recommendations. Manga, Coliseum, TV shows, Mr. In-Between, comic books, The Ballad of Halo Jones, anime, Gunsmith Cats. What a great recommendation. Have What's you ever that? seen Gunsmith Cats? You um, would like it. It is an anime about a girl who runs a gunsmithing store. In I, don't like, I don't like girls and guns. Why? Why not? Because it's like, give me a break. Give like, me a break. It, it's so, you don't want to see so, chicks it's so with guns? Hoary. No, I don't like that. She runs her own gunsmithing shop out of Chicago. What am I going to? Oh, yeah. And How many shots do I get out of this gun? Fucking a half? It's like all just gun and car porn. Oh, my God. It just happens to star hot chicks. I Mike, got computers. I don't need hot chicks shut anymore. Shut up. Gunsmith Cats is great. Mike Hunt for 10. This time last year, everyone was so mad about Israel and or Palestine. I guess the biggest problem in the universe is caring about anything and getting all red-faced while pretending to make a difference. Yeah, you can't make a difference. Was everybody mad at Palestine last year? Remember? I swear to God. Because Palestine was fucking around. Well. I mean, I, I know. You can't. <laughs> Who's fucking with you? It's fuck, are they fucking? No, they're not fucking Palestine's with you. Palestine's not fucking with you. They're fucking with Israel. Um, well. They're launching rockets at them. You can't launch rockets Yeah, because Israel stole all their homes. No. Uh, Move on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I agree. But yeah. it was like as soon as the Palestine thing happened, I went to the dog park that day, and this fat bitch walked by with like a free Palestine shirt. Really? And it looked brand new. And I was like, how, how did she this- get that? So yeah, that's quick. what I thought. Yeah. Like, how did this fucking fat chick get a free Palestine shirt? Well, she might have had. You're saying it would look brand new, though. So it was brand new. Mike Hunt for five. Maybe the biggest problem in the universe are the friends we made along the way. No, those aren't the problems. We love our friends. MK Ultra Victim for one ninety nine. Get Nick Rakeda on PKA, inshallah. Oh yeah. The coup for two. Thank you all for not killing yourselves. We're working on it. Mike Hunt for five. I was hating on AI art, but it generated a girl with three butt cheeks. So I'm starting to come around. That's pretty good. Yeah. Get in on that. Maxwell Re- Weechules for four ninety nine. Future PKA guest recommendations. I highly recommend include NFKRZ, The Critical Drinker, Razor Fist, and Sticks Hex and Hammer 66. Get those people on our show. Fuck if you guys PKA. If you guys have more stuff that you want Taylor to see, super chat it. Yeah. He'll probably watch now that he's gone, he'll probably just watch to see what he missed. Yeah, he's gonna come back and watch all this. So super ch- leave super him chat more us right now super to leave Taylor chat. messages. Mike Hunt for five, creating art is like feeding one's own soul. AI cannot take that away from the artist. There's more to art than the praise of others. Arts mm. and Hammer. 
Mm. David Gomez for five, the biggest problem in the universe, is Taylor being the only member of K- PKA to not derail incredibly interesting guests with fitness or Kyle Manchild media habits. We uh, like Taylor. He's, he's, he's a good guy. The, the PKA fans are so aggressive yeah. about their criticism of the show. <laughs> of, of their own show that they're watching? That they love. It's yeah. shocking. Wow. And that the must hosts be fun. ignore it mostly. Good. It's, just, it's the most bizarre dynamic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and they just hate they hate the people in the well, podcast like, they're watching. Look, I mean, how <laughs> shitty and sarcastic yeah, is that? That You get an interesting guest, but it gets derailed by fitness talk. Well, I could understand that being a problem. Well, Nathan Dendinger for a big $50 on the board. We still don't have a sound effect. We need like we need like a like a celebration. I fell for it. No, not that. Uh best PKO. Uh, you don't even know what those are when you touch them, do you? Yeah, I could read them. That one I sucks. labeled them. Well, what do you want that one? <laughs> no, don't you have like a like an explosion? Here, I got one. I'm a retard. Yeah, that's the one. For fifty, best PKA host on tonight. Hell yeah, this fifty is for you. <laughs> we'll make sure he gets it. Yeah, I'll just get, it get with Masterson, and I'm sure he'll get that all sorted out for you. By the way, I hate Vito all you want, but at least you can understand his diss track. That's true. Very clear compared to Dama's. Mm-hmm. Vito is a homosexual. And he puts penis in his butt. They might be black. They might be black. Uh, pop quiz for four ninety nine. Keep up the stingers, Vito. No, Vito said he's not going to do it no now more until, until we get to 6K. six k. Come on, 6, we can hit it. We can hit it on a Salvo week. Pancake Show. I didn't brag on Salvo Pancake Show. It was in the green room between whatever. It's well, what do you mean? Thing. What if is it, what is it if it's not bragging? What were you saying? They asked why I live in Los Angeles. Okay. And part of the reason is so I can do this podcast because the podcast pays my rent. So that's why that's why you live in Los Angeles. That's part of it. Why would I leave? Where else would you go? Uh, New Hampshire. You'd move back to New Hampshire. Well, Massachusetts is where I'm originally from. But would you be like a longshoreman with a tuna boat? No, I'm going to work in the knife factory. Really? For uh, what do you call it? PKA <clears throat> uh, Pioneer Valley Knife and Tool. That's what you're going to do? Yeah. Jer said he'd send me a free... I'm trying to get him to sponsor the podcast. Tell him to come to the show. Everyone email Jer at PKA and How tell do you spell him... Jer? J-A-I-R. It's Jeremiah. It's probably easier. J-A-I-R. J- Jeremiah. A- Just put Jeremiah. J-A-I-R. Yeah, that's, Jer, that's like what we always Jer, call the him. the Muslim thing? Jer? <laughs> that's what I Jer call him. Jer at PKA? I think, everybody knows, I think everybody knows him as Jeremiah at PKA. At PKA what? Uh, well, it was PKA.Vegas, but then his brother died, so they left Vegas. Dot .Vegas? Well, yeah, because they lived it. The store used to be in Vegas. I don't know where it's at now. There's a dot .Vegas? What yeah. the fuck? How do you get that? You just go, you sign up for it. I don't know. It's still at PVK.Vegas, but they're not based so in Vegas anymore. you're going to move anymore. back to Massachusetts unless the Patreon hits like $10,000 yeah, a go month? Yeah, I'm going to go work. I, like, he's literally said, if you want to make videos about knives full time. You don't want that. I would That's make videos it. about knives. No, then you're going to be the fucking knife guy. Go to their That's Instagram. It. They got they got all sorts of stuff. You don't want to be this guy, though. You don't want to be Look the knife guy. Look, they got guy. a Boba Fett knife. No, 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 no. I've seen I've seen people. No, son, I've seen people go down this road. <laughs> this is like QVC level. Where's the Instagram? I don't know. You'd have to type in P- just type in PVK Instagram or something. PKA. Search for it. PVK. Oh, PVK. Yeah, not PKA. You said it was PKA. Well, that would not make sense. That's the name well, of the podcast. Know. PVK Vegas on Instagram. Yeah, his brother died, who owned the thing. It's a very okay. sad story. Uh, and now Jer runs the operation. Fucking Instagram. And uh, they just wow, post cool pictures cool. of knives on Instagram. Look at those knives. Show the, okay. show the people these knives. Because you know what? He's going to get a bunch of traffic. And they're going to tell people you came from Biggest Problem, who is showing off all these cool knives okay. that you could be buying right now. Wow, Look at that's these cool. I think it's nuts. I bet you could cut off a trans I don't know if, woman's no, no, dick. No, no, no. that's good. <laughs> oh, because she wants it to be good. Yeah. Off. Yeah, you're right. That's progressive. <laughs> Not violence. I, I was told they just sold a number of knives. I don't know if I can announce this, but I'm going to say it anyway, to uh, 
Post Malone. So what? PVK is the uh, the knife distributors to the. They get a lot of celebrities when they're in Vegas. They used to get celebrities. So like they got to be in Vegas. No, because they were running like, dude. It's a. They were on the strip. That's the problem. It's like cool. trying to run a knife, and they're open like twenty four hours or some shit. I don't fucking know. You got to be able to get a knife at any moment. It's just better to have a warehouse in the woods and you ship knives around the country. It's like so much easier. No, you need like you need a reality show. You need like pawn no stars. No one's going to make a knife reality of show. Of course, have you seen the shit that they're putting on? <laughs> make it like it's the fattest <laughs> knife store in the world. Everyone who works here yeah. is too fat. Well, the guys who make the knives are cool, but they don't work they they like contract like all these guys who make like runs of like 10 custom knives. Yeah. You know. So you, you fly get, them out. Yeah, you can fly you get them to out. meet and greet them. Look, you could make it a show. But... I've seen Orange County Choppers, all right? <laughs> yeah, and then you I have know. like a dynamic in the store where you're yelling at each other. The knife guys. The knife, you know? And they're always like knife fights. There's fighting. always like knife I'll fights in like every you. episode. I'll fucking kill you. I'll fucking kill you. I'm like, oh, yeah? How about this? No. How about this? <laughs> Doing the fucking hand thing. Well, yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, pvk.vegas. I'm giving them a free plug for no reason. Yeah, but you're not even saying it in a way dream. that you can understand. PVK? PVK. You said, okay. PVK. Dot Vegas. It used to be Pioneer Valley Knife and Tool until they oh. left the Pioneer Valley and went to Vegas. And then they returned to, well, they're in New Hampshire now, which is not the Pioneer Valley, but still. It's a long, complicated story. My buddy runs a knife warehouse, and that's where I will be working when this podcast, when I inevitably betray Dick and have to leave uh, California. Maybe I'll leave California. It will be so bad. And we'll see. Who knows? Who knows how the betrayal. Either way, I'm going to make knife videos, and I'm excited about it. Okay. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get him to send us knives. I said just send us some knives to show on the show. Just send us some fucking knives. <laughs> or we'll kill you. <laughs> Colonel J for five, talk about getting defederated. Also, please switch to Pleroma. Oh my god, talk about tattletales. I saw that thing. Like, the owner the owner of Post, P O A dot S T is a big ol' is a big bitch ass reporting motherfucker. Mm. Fucking deplatforming, bitch ass. Psycho. Well, that he accused, Psycho. or he, he or she, because I don't dox anyone. I think it's a lady, honestly. And accused you of doxing them. He said or he or she, probably she. Yeah. Said uh, some cunty comment like, "Well, there's doxing going on on your. I have Spurg City, right? But I just made so I could follow Mr. Mediker, right? Because he's off Twitter and he was he was on. So Mr. Mediker, oh, here we go. Mr. Medic, <laughs> Mr. Mediker moved to Post. Okay. In the federated Twitterverse. Right. But I used to have PayPig on. PayPig.org on. Yes. And I was like, well, I shut down PayPig.org because there's just a bunch of fucking whack jobs registering. And there's like, there's just child porn all over yeah, this shit. Yeah, I was, and I was say. like, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Not done, done, done. Like, and people are like, well, what happened? I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not fixing it. It's deleted. Right. Gone. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I have other shit I got to do. Right. Um, so I made this one little instance because the guy at Post thought I was a pedophile. And real for quick, some for reason. people who don't know what the Fediverse is, it's like an alternate Twitter that's decentralized. Uh, that's one way to put it. Yeah. Um, it's like social it's media. It's like a honeypot for insanity. Sure. There's uh, a lot of crazy people. Everyone who's been banned from Twitter is on there. Yeah, the more you hang out with people who've been banned, the more you think, like, yeah, you kind of deserve to be banned. <laughs> like, you don't have any intrinsic value yeah. other than your... Other than that, other than the rate at which you consume media, right, and you don't generate any monetization from that, right. So I'm starting. I'm siding with like I'm siding with the Koch brothers. Honestly, like you're a machine <laughs> that t- takes oil, but you don't produce debt, so you should be killed. <laughs> like you're like a dysfunctional part that yeah. doesn't work. So let's just trade you down. So you set let's up a node you. just for you. I set up a like- node just for me, and I let like a couple people on. Ralph is one of them. Right. So, uh, for I am I was at the hospital, and uh, for having my penis reduced again because it never stops growing like a shark. Right. And Bullshit I get a, out of control. I get a notification saying, "Oh, there's doxing on your server. Address this right away, or you'll be defederated." I'm like, "What the fuck? What are you talking about? Like, mm. there's just me and it. There's like four guys on here." And he goes, "Here, there's a link to Ralph." And I click on it, and it's like um, uh, a name. A name that did Ralph just post a name? Ralph posted a name. The owner of 
Post did yeah. uh, he said leaked, like Tom, the owner of Post. It was blah, like blah, a blah. name, the owner yeah. of Post leaked my IP address to try to like triangulate because Ralph's like hiding from all these fucking women <laughs> who are trying to hunt him. All these women right. are bent out of shape because Ralph fucked a young girl, right. a woman, mm. an adult woman, and they're like the only way to to piss off women permanently is to fuck <laughs> one who's younger than them. Yeah. No man cares. All this drama is just so stupid to me. But please go Oh, it's on. stupid. <laughs> because the only, the only reason I, I you created the fucking too. account yeah. is to follow Mr. Medica because right. I think he's funny. Which now you can't do because- Which now I can't do because I've been defederated by this fucking psychotic broad that cut me off of the instance for doing nothing. So I said, well, he's got a- it's a name. I don't think that's doxing. Like, it, yeah. uh, if it's already out there- if it's some if you're if it's your name, once your name's out there, your name's out. It's not you what cannot you be doxxed twice. Like it's like being de-virginized yeah. twice. Like, oh my name's this. Like ah, you got me. Oh my name's this. Like well yeah, everyone you've already been yeah. doxxed. Your documentation like your dox your documentation is already out there. You can be doxxed like your address can come out later. But it's not even his fucking address. So I said, well I mean I don't think that's doxing. Uh, I mean I don't know if that's doxing, but like on post people use my real name. All over the place. Right. So, your your own rules are fucked, bro. Uh, or you're like, and they tried to say that your name is not a docs, but their name. So is then a docs. she Graf, she the yeah. lady that owns Post said, "Well, you go. You're a public person, and you go by your name." I'm like, I don't go by my name, right? Um, but you know, uh, I'll I'll look at it like when I get home. So I get home and I'm defederated. Which yeah. means I can't see anybody on that whole thing. I'm like, all right. Can you not? Well, can, you, can you see it like uh, anonymously or something? I don't know. I haven't tried because yeah. I don't care. Um, gonna, so I went to my like. You're gonna get me banned from post now. <laughs> they don't want don't, me on there. Oh, don't! Be I on shouldn't there. be using it. You yeah. shouldn't. If you're, do not use post. She's delete like checking your, account, your IPs and delete stuff. Delete your fucking. So then the post lady, the yeah. owner of post, graph. Send a picture that she like reported me to my web host. Like, there's doxing. Like, she did all this crazy shit. So I, I go to my specifically because Ralph posted a name. So I go to yeah. my I, I go to my admin panel to see like, okay, well, what actually happened? Like, there must be some reports. Yeah. So I go click on reports, and there's nothing. Yeah. I'm like, so you mean to tell me that you just did all of this shit without even clicking? fucking report <laughs> this person so I can't see anything. Is there a different instance? Well, you'll tell me later. Ch I mean, there's a ton. So I'll just use a different one. Use mine. Use Spurg City. Well, no, because you're not connected to anything now. Oh, yeah. Use another one. <laughs> so now I still can't fucking see Mr. Medicare. Right. So now it's just me and Ralph talking to each other. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just... uh, I... <laughs> I like that you offered. You're like, well, you can use mine. I'm like, you just told delete me. Delete post. Delete post. Po the, yeah. the owner of post grab is, tracking IPs is a and, like, reporting bitch yeah. who reports, who flag. You th it's not even false. It's like, this is, it's false flagging. Whatever Vito did, this is 100. She personally <laughs> emailed my web host of my $6 a month Spurg.city account. Oh my Can you God. believe that this woman did this to me? Fuck graphs. And then somebody sent me this like graph of, Talking about how they were gonna kill themselves, like this whole fucking. Wait, Graf was gonna kill themselves for being doxxed? Um, I don't know. It was this mentally ill. How about don't start about like a Fediverse instance for like internet shit posters if you're at all worried about your name getting out? Like, or you're just kill yourself. Yeah, you're inviting. Just that. fuck. Like, what? What good have you done? What good have you done? Period. No. Get you luring people onto post. And not having like not having the mental fortitude to protect that platform endangers those people. They so then I found out that they did release like IPs of people to try to find Ralph and that they've admitted to reading direct messages. I'm like, bitch, you are this is fucking insane. Yeah. This makes Twitter this makes Twitter look like the fucking good guys. <laughs> um Yeah, so fuck post. Fuck, Feder fuck Federation. Web3 will blow it out of the water. It's a big fucking waste of time. Fuck you. Yeah. Who did this thing? Colonel J? Uh, thank you for the uh, $5. There you go. That's my... That's my. I'm Please just... clip, clip it and put it on Post TV. <laughs> I don't know any... I just... I just went on there because everybody was talking shit about me and I went to be like, well, you know, and I talk shit back a little bit. Don't talk shit too hard or you'll... Well, yeah, that's You'll the get thing. Like, out on. I mean, all... the craziest thing is, is now that now everyone knows. Oh, just use their name, and they fucking t they spaz out and freak out 
constantly. Yeah. Like, it's just... Well, now that yeah, now so you, that's the other dumb. thing is if they hadn't gone at you, I would have been like, oh, they probably know their name's public. Who knows? But now it's like, yeah, now you know how to get at them. Here, it's a whole thing. Owner posed. Oh well, <laughs> well oh, they the they, they corrected it. Here, hold on. Owner of post is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, well, of course it's John Post. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the worst thing. I'm like, I don't know that that's your name. Right. It's just a name that he posted. I don't fucking know. How is you? Well, how not, is you posting gonna, IP addresses? Yeah. And that's not like I know that's not Ralph. Is that you? The point is the name's out there. We don't know. We're not gonna say what it is. I don't even know what it is. I'm gonna assume it's Sally Post from the yeah the town of Post, Michigan. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what can you do? What can you do? Whatever. Oh. Fuck. I fucking hate people. Go uh, ahead. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Matt Barr for five. Mateo Roberto here. Thanks oh. for displaying my art. Which uh, art is Mateo? Uh, he was the one with you on oh, a bike the, and stuff. Uh, all the wonderful AI. I don't want to say your name, stuff. Matt Barr. That's great. Thank you. Sam Toms for five. Love you, Dick. Hope your arms better. Hope you're doing good. Taylor. Hi, Vito. Hi, Sam. Robert Pickles Nickel for twenty American dollars. Wow. Wow. Get Shane Gillis on the show. That would be a get, but sure. Let's get him. I don't know. He's probably too busy. Nah, Ryan Long knows him, I'm sure. Yeah. Petty for 20. You gotta make more friends in comedy like me. Then that big story I told you sound like I'm making friends in comedy? <laughs> I'm tr- it's hard to make friends in comedy. Comedy Comedians are a fickle bunch. I'm becoming friends with Deaf Noodles, the, the, the king of oh, comedy. Oh, good, good, he's, good. He's doing a thing tonight. I wonder if they're live streaming it. Uh, Petty, or do we do Petty for 20? I can't believe the new Stinger didn't mention a throat being cut. I'd have bet that Vito had a thing for it, like Tarantino and choking. How many rows did it have to be? You almost got me. Be fair. Yeah. Sure, it was at least three. Yeah. That was pretty good. It's a good one. The Grumps for five on the third day. Pope Rackets rises. He is alive. <laughs> Yeah. The true. locks for 10 have not listened yet. Just open the stream to donate. Thanks, you guys, for getting the legend to Taylor on the show. I already know this one will be great. Thank you. I'm going to say it was a great show. Yeah. Had a lot of fun. Jazz fan 22 for five. Biggest, pro- wait, the overall biggest effing, angering, inexcusable, ridiculous problem in the universe is people with bike racks on their car that look like cop cars. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, cop fairings. Or when people buy uh, Crown Victorias and they don't, like, oh, repaint them. Yeah. So you think there's a cop right next to you? Yeah. Mike Hunt for five. I want to see a true crime reenactment with a VD lookalike and his cat recounting events with a blurred face and voice distortion. My I want cat that too. is so happy and satisfied. You're wrong for nine ninety nine. Dick and Vito, what are your thoughts on the Nick Riccati YouTube situation? Apparently, if you spam report, it's an instant perma ban. I honestly thought it was a joke, but TBF, I was wrong. Very close. Yeah. Uh, if you actually want us to comment. Oh, okay. So is Nick uh, doxing people then, Graf? Let us know. <laughs> I mean. Let us know, is honey. Nick, is Nick on Is Nick post? on there fucking doxing? Because you guys got to fucking pick one. Pick one. Yeah. Nick would Nick would be accused of doxing under those rules. I mean, he published a list of names. I just think Nick's flying too close to the sun. You're making a bunch of money. Just stop, as, as you keep saying. Stop, stop messing with Keffels. Who cares about Keffels? Just stop. You have a good thing going. You, this this little trans uh, pretty boy, pretty girl, is a uh, stop. See, you're doing it too. <laughs> I don't know why it's so hard for people to just say. She's an adorable Couple's lady. lady. Couple's a beautiful lady. She is a lady. Like it's, it's like, it's so, it makes me so sick. Well, the problem is when it's a lady who looks like a pretty boy that you want to, because it was, if. <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. It makes, it's, it arouses such contempt in my heart yeah. when people set, correct me by, by dead name, by misgendering Keffels. Right. And I'm like, oh, what'd she say? And like, she, and I'm like, oh God, you're so weak. You're so Fucking like if this was like a prehistoric time and we yeah. were out on the hunt, right? Like it was like eight guys, like we gotta bring home a mammoth or something to feed our village or we're gonna die. Yeah. Right? And then you are the guy who's going like, Oh, do we? And it's like I would instant <laughs> instantly kill you. Instantly no, but kill you. What if I'm like yeah. everyone everyone be quiet? And you're like, Oh, should I be quiet? 
<laughs> like I would beat you to death, and all the other guys would go like, "Yeah, awesome that you did that," because that guy was fucking things but up. But I want to make the argument that I'm so not misgendering Keffels that I think of her as a woman. So to insult her, I want to refer to her as a boy, which I don't think that she is. Okay. In the same way that if I saw a woman, I you know, like I had female friends where I go, oh, you look like a teenage you boy. You can tell it to the judge, buddy. <laughs> We're going to have, when the <laughs> misgendering judges rock. show up. I'm so far ahead of the curve that I'm yeah, regressing. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, the problem. Uh, either way, Nick. just Not until you night like Nick Fuentes. Nick Ricada should just watch court cases and not fight with Keffels, and his life will be so much easier for it, and he'll be just as popular. Keffels is right. Just I think it. he feels like he needs to fight with Keffels for some reason. Like, his audience demands it of him. I, I think Keffels is making people crazy. Yes. She's making uh, she's making people say stupid things. Dirk I'm glad Nick's got, got his chance. That's not, he got that's his not a statement back. on Nick. I'm yeah. just saying. Keffels makes I know, Keffels just like, just, just, say just, dumb things. Don't wade into it. Don't be a part of it. It doesn't benefit you at all. You know what's happening. You see what's happening. And you're like, well, I got to get Noel on here and to hear his side of it. You don't need to do that at all. Keffels is getting kids to do drugs. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, uh, I did drugs as a kid. <laughs> no, I also. They're, they're uh, HRT. Uh, who fucking gives a shit? <laughs> who fucking cares? Great. They could join the army then. They could have a fucking I mean, sex change care. at 15 and join the yeah. fucking army. No, you cannot care. Fuck them. Keffels is also not the only person doing that is the other thing. Who you know? fucking cares? Okay. They're just going to grow up and vote. Fuck them. Turka Merka for four ninety nine. Big up, Smirka. Screw Dick and Vito, you're lovely. You're lovely as too. Coup for five. This is the airing of the Grievance episode. Yeah. Well, Vito complained about not getting a thank you for bringing in snacks. Actually, I always feel bad because I take all of Dick's snacks. I drink Dick's uh, soda and That's what snacks are chips. for. Take them or leave them. It well, doesn't, thank it doesn't you. need to be commented on. Well, there you go. Michael winning for five. Lol Suit 2, Electric Boogaloo incoming. This time over promotion. Yeah. I'm going to uh, sue yeah. you because you didn't promote the show good enough. Me, 420 for five. Vito promotes his problems on the show every week and still loses most of the time. TBF to Dick. Uh -huh. I'm trying to be. Petty for five. One of this podcast hosts has a card game. Buy winner's drink. No, both of this podcast <laughs> hosts have a card game. Buy enemy weapon. Lemon sake for two pounds. euros. Pounds. I heard euro only makes $30 a year after taxes. That's true. That's why we need to get the Patreon to say, tell your friends. Wow. Tell, th here's the thing people don't do with podcasts. All right, I'll keep pause. reading them. All right. No, I'll keep reading keep them. Keep reading. People do not understand that you should, if you enjoy a podcast, just tell tell two friends. That's that's gonna be my my uh, biggest problem challenge of the week. Is this week? Can you find two people who you know would pro? You can probably guess who would like the show. Is it a big fat chick? She's probably not gonna like the show. Is it like another dude? Who likes slinging shit and uh, you know doesn't mind the occasional racist <laughs> joke and uh, playing uh, Islamic music as we talk about how much we hate women? Okay, well you know who would like the show. Just go, buddy. I think you would like this podcast and send send him a link. Pick your favorite episode. You probably got a favorite episode, and uh, that's that's how we grow this thing, people. Because you go, you go. How come Shane Gillis isn't on that show? Because I got, I made the document. I have a document. That's like, here's why you should be on the show. And it says, here's our iTunes download numbers. Here's our YouTube position. Here's whatever. Our numbers are like, okay. You know, I send it to some guests and they go, wow, that's cool. I don't normally get invited on podcasts. But if I send that to like Shane Gillis, he's going to go, oh, you guys aren't, you guys aren't even in the top 200 podcasts. When I give a shit, you know, you only have this many download numbers. So you got to grow the show. Then we get better guests. Then we have more fun. Right, Dick? Yeah. Right. Let tell your friends. Tell your friends. I challenge them. They got to tell, tell two, two friends or don't come tell back. Tell two friends or don't come back. Mike Hunt for two. Circumcision is a subset of baby boomers. Okay. True. Mike Hunt for two. Ask Trixie about her five skin. Oh, yeah. Uh, did you, bro? Well, fucking Trixie. Right. Had a big old anteater for skin. Okay. Which is probably enjoyable. I don't know. She's liked it. Seems to like it. Seems to have led to a long and prosperous life. Inflation for two. Who's the guy in the middle with the huge owl head? Well, that was Taylor. He knows. Okay. David Gomez for five. More proof that Vito stinks. You don't get cheese when you don't wash. Like the cheese in Vito's folds. Sincerely, uncut, <laughs> two-hour bone. All right. 
Yeah, you got cheese, motherfucker. I bet you do. That boy Mikey for five thirty-seven. I like the weird donations. Okay. My biggest problem is not enough Taylor. I agree. Permanent third chair. Umpty Madu for two. Ask David Reamer how he liked his circumcision. Which one's uh, David Reamer? I don't know. <laughs> is it like a serial some killer? Kind of fucking joke. Mike Hunt for two. You can grip your foreskin to avoid void mess. Life hack. That's true. You can hold it in. You know, what so do you mean he, that's true? Why do you know? Well, I'm just because I don't know. I would imagine it's like you got a plastic bag over it all the time. <laughs> okay, maybe. Petty for five. Some new filioplasties are actually done with meat grown from cadaver flesh. Man made horrors beyond our comprehension. Uh, so they grow a dick for it? Jesus Christ. Umpty Madu for five. Vito got the order wrong. The pee pee sucking occurs after, not before. Numerous babies have died due to herpes because of it. I think the, I've heard of babies getting herpes. I haven't heard of them dying to the herpes. Dying to herpes? Well, they get it from the, pre, the after the bris. Hold on one second. The priest will. Uh, suck on their wee wee. Oh, and they'll get herpes from that. And they've gotten herpes from uh, when the Jewish. Uh, what is a Jewish priest? Um, a mashugana. Uh, rabbi. When the rabbi kisses their baby it's dick, moil. They get a uh, herpes. Uh, Mike Hunt for two. Not many consensual circumcisions. Yeah. Scroll up. Pop quiz for nine ninety nine says. More stingers. Well, guys, again, tell two friends. Two friends. You could you could message one right now on Discord. Message one right now. We'll or wait. Facebook. We'll wait. Send them a link to a prior episode, one of your favorites. Let's take a minute of silence for all the Russian soldiers that have been killed no, in the Ukraine no, and no, you kid. No, not that. God, Ukraine's getting uh or Russia's getting their asses kicked. It's hilarious. Why is it hilarious? Because, man, what the fuck? You don't start a war and then immediately give all your tanks to the other side it's through an, incompetence. It is a special military exercise. It's You're not right. a war. Yeah, all right. They're just trying to set Donbass <laughs> free. That's what Putin said at the beginning. He said it. You know what's fucking crazy? What? I remember having this conversation on the show with Sean. I'm like, what if he's just doing it to set these air, these two areas free? That have been voting for their independence like for a long time. Don Bass and what's the other Lou one? Hanks. Lou Hanks. Yeah. No, but then he voted on like four provinces. Then he what? Did, weren't there four provinces that he's annexing? Not Crimea two. Crimea already got taken. Okay. Well, they're taking. Why them back. would you want to be in Ukraine? Why? Why would you want to be in Russia? Because Russia is at least run by like. A <laughs> Christian man. Christian Zelensky's man. like a fucking actor. <laughs> what is Why this would show? you want Zelensky? <laughs> Zelensky is a fame whore. So uh, actor. Oh, okay, yeah, so, well, so so yeah, United States has never had anything like that. How do, how you could voted we do? for Donald Trump? He's not an actor. You can't go. At, he is an, he's actor. Not an actor. He's literally been in multiple movies. Home Alone Two that they cut yes, him out of. He's in Home Alone Two. He was that a they pizza cut him hot out of. commercial man. Oh, that was a great commercial. Yeah, he he's acted the very well because he's an actor. He's a businessman. Zelensky. Plays piano with his dick or his balls or some comedy for women. You watch that? It's not funny. <laughs> I, Everything Trump has done is maybe hilarious. It translate. Everything Trump has done is hilarious. <laughs> when yeah. you did you see Trump say, "I never saw a skinny person drinking a diet coke." <laughs> Nipples. Per, I only Rosie only O'Donnell. Rosie O'Donnell. Only Rosie. O'Donnell. You know that's funny. That's pretty. Zelensky's funny. like doing some. Talent show. So if, like Zelensky, if Zelensky starts talking about fat women, will you then support Ukraine? Yeah, but he's not. He's not funny. He's not funny. Maybe it doesn't translate. All his humor has no language. You know this. Some, you know that he's not funny. You n look in your heart. You know that. Look, I never not funny. said that he was funny. He doesn't need to be funny. Then what is he? He's a, he's a great leader and a great man. How is that possible if he's not funny? <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, how would you want to be? Are all the great leaders across time funny? Yeah. Was Hit, do you yes. think Hitler was funny? What do you think was bringing people to the rallies? Well, I've been discussing this recently, is that it seems like he, like... Do you see him grabbing those asses when he's blindfolded? <laughs> Hitler? <laughs> see, that's, that's why Nick Fuentes is so powerful, is that he's funny. That's what's so scary about him. Anyway, he is powerful. Anyway, turkey sandwich for nine ninety nine. I was raised in the slums of Mexico by my lesbian moms. We faced a lot of hardships, but they did everything they could to provide for me and my sisters. We call them the Super Barrio Mothers. Why do you say Barrio? That's not how they say it. I don't fucking super know. Super Barrio. Barrio is not. 
It's funny, though. Refresh this shit. Well, guys, don't forget to get a couple last-minute Super Chats in, but this has been quite an episode. And go to PKA and say that Vito should be on and and tell them not to talk about the cat stuff. <laughs> is, that, is that not... Should I have not brought that up to... Uh, is that going to... Well, whatever. Uh, no women near the Barack, says Petty for two. That's true. They're not allowed on the horse. Jack Rockstar for four ninety nine. Biggest problem in the universe is women buying dogs because they're bored. The giant pit bull next door is always barking. Also, yellow dry erase markers. Mm. Ever like uh, get to the point where a neighbor's pet is so annoying that you start fantasizing about how to kill it all the time? Yeah, yeah. You start like, neighbors actually. You start like not googling it as a joke. Andy like, oh, Andy Freeze. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. Some pieces of meat with nails in it. That's t- that's too much. They're gonna find that. <laughs> We still when I, when we lived in the ghetto, there was one Mexican neighbor that I'm like, bro, you gotta bring that dog inside. Barrio, I'm not- gonna fucking kill myself <laughs> if I have to listen to that dog bark. Cameras content up ten. Vito, how much to shave the beard? <sighs> you do not understand how hideous I will be without this thing. I think that might be why they asked. I know, so it would have it. to be a big number. Okay, It'd have to be a crowd fund. J.S. Lang for five. Vito, if you host a knife fight reality show, just understand you have to be the bald, bespeckled guy, not the guy with the hat. That's true. Every show needs that. John Doe for five. Why in the hospital, Masterson? I'll tell you about it in my show. Check the dick show coming uh, Sunday. Spider Eternal for five. I'd tell a friend, but then Vito would vote for them to lose their job. Being uncut is the best. Women love it. Vito's food problems are pretty funny. Why would I tell vote for them to lose? Oh, because... Oh, uh, you saw that uh, Biden is decriminalizing or whatever with oh, the marijuana, yeah. getting rid of all that. Well, he's not decriminalizing it. He's well, just he's, doing. Par- the he's next just part. doing. A, no, he's just doing a retarded thing and Can, trying to do getting parted. Rid, getting rid of all the he could felonies. De-schedule, he could sched- reschedule it and just not make yeah, it federally it's, it's a legal. Timeline. No, it's not. I think that he's. I think that uh, he's doing so bad that black voters are turning on him. So he's like, uh, well, I guess we better make we. Uh, not legal, maybe he'll maybe, but... maybe he'll decriminalize it before the elections. Uh, he's gonna uh, undo all the work that Kamala Harris did. That's true. She put a lot of black people, people in jail prison. for doing weed. Look, I have never. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. I have defended Joe Biden on this program. I have never defended Kamala Harris. What if What if Trump had had like a cop as his running mate? Yeah. Yeah, that would be awful. The gay conversion stuff was. It was misunderstood, but it was still bad enough. Yeah. I'm like, oh man, I don't like this guy. Yeah, he should have had me as vice president. I think I would have decertified that shit so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I would have marched into Congress and kicked Nancy, Nancy Pelosi right in her stomach. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. It is bah! true. Why didn't Trump just pick like? Because did he get Jared anything Kushner from Pence? Fucking Israel talked him into it. Mm. That's why. Well, just maybe like that got him what he says. needed. Maybe he needed the money. Probably he didn't or something. need shit. Well. He could have appointed anybody. Does Israel love Pence? Is Pence pro Israel guy? No, they love Jared Kushner. So, but why Jared Kushner hook him up with Pence? Because Pence is like an establishment guy. Okay, like Biden. You know more of this uh, politic, you know, politicking than me. Umpty uh, Madu for five. David Reamer was the baby that John Money turned into a little girl. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And he killed himself. She killed herself. Check real quick if there's any more super chats. But guys, what a great show. And the best part about this show is we can't do it without your support. Well, I guess that's not the best part. Hold on. Gun Ranger for five. Vito said freedom of speech prevents you, protects you from the government. Probably Ranger. But who is forcing Alex Jones to pay then? An excellent point to end on. Okay. Dick, show me my most popular supporters, oh, yeah. our best friends. Don't forget, you can join the list and get all the bonus episodes at patreon.com slash biggest problem. But please don't forget to vote. At Biggest Problem that show. We'll put up the problems right now after the show. And please tell your friends to watch this show, the Two Friend Challenge. I want you guys to send your voicemails. Tell us how the Two Friend Challenge went. If one of your friends came back to you and said, I had to tell our boss that you're a racist and you have lost your job. Yeah, get fired for the show. <laughs> That's the challenge. Yes. Send it to two friends and let us know what they thought. Okay. And we're going to have some fun. Guys, biggest problem in the universe. Bye.